Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here. Show number 2461 here on Twitch and day 27 out of 31 of our six annual Fragmas. Going to be kicking things off with the Spelunky 2 daily uh, and take it from there. Before we do, going to call the fine people here in chat and your wonderful support. Let's see where the game takes us today. Somewhere fun, I'm sure. The Mythic Applesauce. Gabio, good to see ya. Prixie, Zidane. What's up, Regidor, Oily Raincloud. Hey, Rabbit, glad you could make it today. What's up, Towork, Lucas Craft, the Bio, JTO, Sir Skills a lot, Nat Man, it's good, Kager, Claudian, nice to see ya, Sir Raymock, and all the rest. What's up, Log Cool? Hey, before we get started here, too, Claudian, welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for making it official, dude. Appreciate that a lot. And Regidor, thanks for 46 months. Heck yeah. It's good, Cerisium. All right, so I did uh, peep this daily on PlayStation 4 last night. I intentionally died in Cosmic Ocean when I got there, but uh, we're going to take the opposite route of what I took on PlayStation 4. Uh, if anybody's going to be doing the daily today before it resets, there is a jetpack in the black market on the bottom level, though I will say if you're going to go... Um, the jungle route, you'll have to collect the gold and stuff very aggressively because there's not much money available uh, in Dwelling or before the Black Market. On this one, we're going to take uh, the Volcano route, which I have not seen. Get that penguin in the hole first, though. Very important. Hey there, money. What's up, Paradactyl? All the cool kids here, nice and early. Since we're going Volcano, we don't have to worry too much about money collection, but I do still want to have enough to buy some things. Um... Okay. Squishy squish. Camera, huh? It's interesting. Huh. Oh, we're not getting that. Balls! Alright, get out of here, you stinky mole. Let's go. Okay, got just enough to buy the bombs. Cool. Hmm. It's not even the way down, so we can just avoid that arrow trap altogether. Okay. Obviously want to get uh, that sacrifice. Can I get the lizard on the shrine? I bet I can. Alright, Monty's right there. Um, gonna be tricky. Let's start by dropping this down and then we'll go from there. Want to at least get Monty on the shrine. I'll wait. All right, mole. See it. Oh, my goodness. All right, I think the big trick here is going to get uh, not having Monty run through the door. I think I'm going to use a rope here to avoid that. Yeah. Maybe not. Hmm. 
All right, two health, real suspect. Good level, though. Good, good level. All right, let me get all caught up here. Inflatable Beef Jesus, thanks for 25 months. And Shameless Effie, thanks for keeping it dapper. Thank you. Yeah, we are one arrow trap away from dying here. I'm scared. Oh, crap. How you doing down there, turkey? Okay... That's our Kapala right there. I think I tamed this turkey and then bombed down. I got 16 bombs, and the sooner I can get this Kapala in hand, the better. I'm also just going to cook these turkeys. I got some previous knowledge that there's only gold inside of uh, Yang's area, so... Not super keen on rescuing the turkeys rather than getting the health when we only have two health. Okay, that's an arrow trap that has not gone off yet. Turkey time! Turkey in the hole. That's the one that got you right there, Pyridactyl. I believe it. It's a tough one. Give me that juicy juice. I could get a couple more bodies on the shrine here for um, a rope, but I only have three ropes, so let's go. Pretty, pretty broke right now, but that's all right. I will just be bombing here. Look, what hit me there? Looking for skeleton key. Yo, only Marman. Thanks for 19 months once again. What's good, man? Oh, that explosion sounded pretty juicy. Oh, no. Not juicy at all, then. Let's try that again. There we go. That was a much squishier explosion. What is happening right now, sirs? Did he drop down now? No. Okay, I got a triple hit there. That was nice. Okay, get turkey dinner, you turkey. Awesome, Marmot. Glad you could make it. And thanks for showing, dude. Always a pleasure to see you in the channel. There we go. Let's roll out Volcana time. Oh, no. Whoa, dude. 
Okay, we got helping hand help right there. Behind the store is that it looks like we can maybe climb up to Van's prison. Find out here soon. Okay. Um, I'm good. Dude, what is this? Oh, I'm dead. GG. I did that to myself. Sorry, we're gonna hop into another run. It won't be the daily, and that's okay. It's just off by one half tile. I think the better move there would have been to uh, just jump and float. But I wanted to bops that robot for some reason. Ah, yes, hubris. kind of tempting, but also looks pretty nasty. Uh, let's pick up a torch here. No, now that they're awake, we're not going to do that. Good. All right, early turkey here. Turkey time. I mean, I want all this stuff in the store, but I am broke. Ooh. And Percy is sequestered down there, too. Gonna take a look around. It's looking to me like right now we're going to steal from this one two store to get equipments. Oh, I'd be fine just buying the gloves. Turn in the turkeys now. Hmm. Okay. I can actually use this caveman to boost back up if I wanted to. Which I just might do. This one's a bit puzzling. Is that a Kali Ma shrine down there? Oh boy. Well, yeah, I got some good news and some bad news. Good news, I'm rescuing your turkeys. Bad news, I'm probably robbing you. There's ropes here, awesome. Didn't leave myself the most time. So let's get this turkey over in the corner. Come on, man. This bomb is way too good to pass up. I'm gonna rope here. Um, gonna rope here. Oh man, the problem is he's gonna he's gonna follow us down. I gotta do this afterwards. This is gonna get intense time-wise. Here we go. Here he comes. Up! Oh, Up! Oh, oh! Got him. Come here, you wily beast. Cool, getting the climbing glove there also makes it so we do not need to rob the store. We can just buy the spike shoes and glasses and get out of Dodge. Nice. Glove was the most expensive item in the store, so pretty cool there. I will say it is very much looking like we're not going to jungle on this route. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. 
<laughs> that was a lot of work to die to the ghost. I'm alright with it. I really thought the ghost was going to come from the left-hand side there, but apparently I was into the right-hand uh, portion when the ghost was activated. That was a fun sequence anyways. I think a level like that is a great example of why uh, not breaking urns in the dwelling is good, because that extra five to ten seconds that you get from doing that can be the difference. Ooh, this is a yikes. Um, I really want to get up there. Okay, here we go. Ropes and bomb sick. Great start. Holy guacamole, this run's blessed. Two rope piles, two sets of bombs? Let's go. That was awesome. Can't really ask for a better 1-1 one, one than that. Alright. Well, I do want to buy out the store. I am approximately... Not even approximately. We're 3,000 away from that. Okay, shrine on 1-2 again. What is today? Uh, I mean, yeah, I want that box, but not that bad. All right, this is sequestered, so I'm going to throw a key over here. Oh, it's not sequestered. Never mind. Weird level. Not buying the rope piles would not be the end of the world here, but I certainly would prefer them. Skeleton key. There's our dwelling. The exit's just right over there. Yang uh, needs to be in the bottom left-hand corner here, and that's where our other turkey's going to be, too. I guess I'm just going to let those rope piles go. Lucky us, we already have ten ropes. Oh, you're right. Yang's going to be at 1-3 since we have the key here. Thank you. That is correct. All right. In that case, I'm going to take my turkey with me, though it is tempting to put him on the shrine. I think uh, having an extra turkey on the next level will make turning into Yang even easier. Now you're turkey stacking. No yang yet. There's my man. Alright, looks like an easy turn into me. There's a dead turkey. Has this trap gone off yet? No. Oh, I'm dead. I'm super dead. You cannot fall into a one tile square. Okay, I'm gonna do one more as Valerie here. I got faith Valerie can go all the way. I just gotta play a little bit better, that's all. You know what our problem is? We didn't bless the run with, by making the noise with the, the chest there. That's why we're getting bungled. Let's bless this run. 
Oh, hey, I'll use a rope here then. Uh, I know from previous experience you can actually make that drop down, but it's really scary. Basically the same store. This time I really would like the rope though. I'd say getting spring shoes in Spelunky 2 more than halves the places that you need to get ropes. Alright, let's spend one rope for three rope right now. He's not there. Hmm. There's the key. All right. Gonna need two ropes to get back to that. No problem. If we didn't buy, have that rope pile to buy, it would be uh, no ropes right now. Time to bless this run. Much better. Alright, let's go. Enjoy. Well, I mean, my man's right there, but if you considered I have a turkey cooking stick in hand? Oh, hey, as a heads up, we still have uh, five streams, including today's stream and our sixth annual Winter Fragmas, but we have uh, set the days off after our Winter Fragmas here. Uh, after the December 31st stream, the next stream will be January 16th, which is a Saturday. This is how we run our yearly format, do our 31 days of streaming in the month of December and once in the summer, uh, followed by vacation after that. Get some time to refresh and sharpen the saw to get back to the next half year. Uh, we'll also be hosting uh, AGDQ uh, during, during that time, so that will be uh, January 3rd through 10th, I believe is the date for that. All right, I'm probably not going to bring these back to Yang, not with three ropes. Okay, that's nice. Um, yes and yes. 55 hundo? Die, mole! Uh, now it's tempting to um, bring the turkeys to the shrine, huh? I think I will. Oh, snap. I didn't mean to fall down here. All right, I'm roping. Compass would be nice, too. Where's the damsel at? Damsel has to be sequestered in the sub area somewhere. Also has spike shoes. This needs to be a whip, not a not a stomp. Doom, doom, doom. Well, we are one sacrifice point away from that there. 
I'm going to go back up for this compass. Compass is a useful tool. And where's the ghost now? All right. Later, Tater. Yes, if you are stunned on the throne, you definitely die. 100%. Yo, big old key, thanks for 78 months, six and a half years. Appreciate that. Huh, free compass. This is feeling like a very Volcana run to me. Don't have a lot of money. We have both pairs of shoes and paste. And paste is one of the hardest items to pick up when you're doing a Volcana run. So since we already have that, seems nice, man. No Kapala yet, but that's all right, too. Huh, that was not the jump I was hoping for. That's okay. Hold on to that little feller. Didn't miss that time. That's fair. I did that. Thought I had that whip, but I didn't. What an exit. Yoinks. I think I'm gonna do this, because it's very likely the damsel is on the side portion here, and I'd like that. It's not. Okay, well... Follow me, help. Okay, we need to put down that skull. I can tell you that right now. Oh, that's a toughie right there. Where's the key area? I guess we'll figure this out in a second. Do 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 do. Can make it back up here. There's the key area. Okay. Huh. There is definitely a secret shop of some sort back over here. Oh, okay. That's not even the prison. We just saw a van below. So this is a double key area. Which puts van right here. That's right, the gray areas, or gray blocks in the sub-area cannot be destroyed. Oh man, look at that. Well, definitely want some ropes, and I'll take Percy too. Watch out, help. Alright, you know the rules, help. No holding on to things. Or I guess they'd be more of like a light tan block. Okay, help. Here's the thing. Do not, under any circumstances, grab that statue. Thank you. Is there a shrine on this level? Not yet. I'm going to use a rope to get back up here. I'm looking for a shrine right now. Uh, is this a shrine? No. Okay, no shrines this level. That's a box. We're looking for the bow, though. The bow is going to be below the center line every time. There it is. All right, got item here. There's also item here. Paste again. Okay, what's this? Just a gold nugget. Let's see if we can get the item that was over here. Doubtful with how many swings we have left. Uh, 
Nice. Let's go. He's helping. Hey, dude, there you go. Drop that urn. Remember, you're not allowed to hold on to things, buddy. I think I just heard the mumblings of a leprechaun. It's not a shrine. Bonk. Okay, there is a shrine here. We are again one sacrifice point away. I don't think there was anything here except for my help, which is dead now. Maybe he's still snoozing. Yo, dude, where's the damsel? Yeah, he's having a little snoozy. I'm gonna go wake him up. Since this helping hand survive multiple levels, um, he has a higher trust level, so the more levels that you have the helping hand alive, the longer they let you carry them, and the longer they will sleep when you put them down. Okay, it's going to be our first item here. Skeleton key, all right. Either the damsel is in the sub area or it's top left-hand corner. I'd be willing to use several bombs to free the damsel, so I'm going to check back up here real quick. Or not. Apparently the ghost urn got broken by something. Later, Tater. All good. Okay, just gonna drop the drill right away. It's a lot of lava, that's cool, that's cool. The chainsaw's moving here, I'm gonna toss a bomb like so. That'll even out the lava pool. a smidge here. That lava's still moving. That's probably the last strip. One of the last strips, anyways. Alright, no shrine scene here. Uh, we don't have Kapala, so there's no vampire blood farm. No worries there. Oh, this push block probably denotes a secret shop. Nope. The lava is slow dripping like that. You're really in no danger of getting hit on the rope. All right, there's that. Looking for items over here. Nope. Now, this will be the dangerous part, because if lava drips on us, we're going to die. Cool. No Kapala yet, but uh, otherwise, really good setup. The Royal Crown allows you to pull the Excalibur from the stone and gives you a large shop discount, like 25%. Uh, Seamus, it really depends on if you, uh, 
if you let the lava get to the slow drip point or not. If it's dripping off rapidly, then yes, it's going to clip you on the chain. But if it's doing that slow drip off, it will not. I'll say overall lava is much less dangerous um, on the drill portion once you understand the mechanic, though oh, I still died to lava. I died earlier today to lava. It's a dangerous element. Let's go. The magmars that are summoned off of the lava, uh, while they don't one-shot the player, they often make you fall off the chain in a weird way. I'd say it's a much more common source of death on the chain than actual lava. It's the magmars knocking you off to the side. That was close. A little bit late on that. close. Let's go, Valerie. Hoping for an early shrine on the tide pool here. Yo, Gumbio, it's for 33 months. It's three more for three years. Let's, in fact, take this run to Duat. We're going to leave our cape behind here. Should have grabbed the parachute there. Now we're going to have to rope down, which is fine. Curse cats everywhere. Let's crock them in too. That's a toughie. Oh, that's tough. That was definitely not my intention. Oh, hey, here's Van. What's up, my man? Give me that alien compass, thanks. That's a bomb. We've got Scepter now. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was scary. Really lucky that did not go into the shop. Oh, hey, climbing glove. Awesome. That is a beautiful item to see right now. My man, I'll buy this too, because what if there's a shrine next level? Oh, sweet, the Necromancer resurrected the dog. I didn't even know they could do that. That's cool. My man, you're in trouble. What are you doing, you wily critter? Okay, well, I'm going this way. Um, I really would like to look for a shrine here. I guess there's a guaranteed shrine on the next level, however. Let me do this. Yeah, that got her too good. This really does feel like it should be a shrine level. Check it out. Not though. Let's go. just jump into here? Maybe. Want to be able to. I don't think I can, though. No. Parachute? All right. Go. Sir, help. All right, dude. Um, let's go over here. Hey, put that down, huh? Okay, we got Juicy Cup. That's good. Uh, I would like another set of Kali Favor. There it is. And let's, of course, have a peek around the City of Gold. Uh, not seeing a bunch of gold urns, which is what we'd like to see. Oh, hey, here's a four gold urn room. more of that. Just the one? Just the one. Now that croco man's disturbing. I think I'm just gonna leave this be. Thank you. 
All right, here's Sneckman number one. Let's see what's over here. Okay, way up's on this side. So in this area, you can't use ropes. There's nothing for them to stick to in the background. So a very specific way you got to pass up. Yeah, that altar is the only way to get to Duat. Uh, sacrificing yourself with... On other altars just ends your run. So any altar you can be sacrificed. Right. Ooh, we got enough Kali favor to get 12 bombs. Awesome. Yeah, you don't see too many people go to Duat, uh, and the reason for that is that uh, you give up your Ankh to come here, so most people opt for the Ankh skip technique. Oh, snap. That's lava drips. Okay, we're fine. That was spoopy. I prefer to enter from the other side, but no choice at this moment. I'll go over here, actually. Big bada boom. All right, go down here. Smash. Bonk. All right, there's our tablet of destiny. We did it. Alright, so go back to Waddler now to retrieve our Vlad's cape. This should be Waddler right here. I'm going to put a bomb on this location. This will also let us get into the... Um, into the cave here, which will be good. Cape time. Great. All right, we're going to get lots of juice here. Lumps. Right, I got a bit of a plan. We throw here, we get mega juicy. Great. What's going on down here? All right, Yeti King's in kind of a weird spot. going to be an awesome juice farm here. Okay, cool. Do we get the double block? Nice, we got double block here too. So when there's two blocks for this technique, the bodies are guaranteed to land on the same tile, which is exactly what we want. Oh snap, I almost died. Alright, so put a rope down here. We're gonna whip these fellers off. And they're all gonna land on the same tile. We're gonna sit right on top of them, collect all of that juicy juice. 
Nice. I heard you. Where you at? There you are, Poochie. can't see a thing. That's true, I can't. We don't even have glasses here. Oh, snap. Whoo, that was really close. Hey, you. Hey, you. Get turned into Juicy Juice, would ya? Let's go. Yeah, the second arrow in the ice case was pointing to the mothership, which the alien compass allows you to get to. We'll get back there at some point, but this run just wanted to focus on progression. Smiling Onyx Onk. There it is, right to the left here. Be careful of these elevators, though. Yeah, I've not done any uh, Alien Compass uh, Cosmic Ocean runs yet, so this would be different. Ah, oh, good. Lava. Well, I can use one bomb right here to get to the exit. I'm gonna do exactly that. Okay, there's our mount. Fine. Gonna need to get this guy before we go. Oh, I'm not on the list. That's right. We didn't go to Mad Amps. Um, didn't go Type Pool this time. It's unexpected. I get it. I'm not on the list. I'm not gonna rob Mad Amps here. We're not hurting really bad for health, which would be, I think, one of the main reasons I would rob Madams, or if we did not have Kapala as well, is another good reason to rob. As is, we're looking good. I will stay out, don't worry, man. Oh, this isn't even the way to the exit? That is peculiar. Almost always the drop down on this side is towards the exit. Not this time. Oh, cheesy rice, man. There we go. That's what we wanted. Let's go. All right, time to get caught up here. Sorry for being so far behind. Gumby Oak, thanks for 33 months once again. Code Xander, thanks for that big 2-0. Appreciate that 20. Rocket did 2. Thanks for 80 months. And Donkles, thanks for 11. Much appreciation. I'll wait. This one. There we go.
I'll wait. I'll wait. Alright, 20 health is less than I'd like to have here, but enough. Give me that juicy juice. Rogues! I'll bring the arrow to the bow. Let's go! It's gonna do the one bomb run, one rope technique here. Unless a vampire spawns first. I don't think so, partner. There's actually a pretty uh, nasty setup that could have gone south a lot of different ways. No. Dude, that was brutal. Frickin' necromancers. Okay, so next time when that happens, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick up the witch doctor's corpse and I'm gonna throw it down to the next level. is the right way. I'm gonna go underneath here. We got plenty of time to finish the level. I just don't want to get my bow crushed or messed up over here. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the scariest sun challenge that I actually survived. No doubt. This is not even the way. Okay. Um, that's going to be a rope for me. I like using a rope here because if the tadpole hits you out of the water, you guessed it, you drop right into the spike. So just using a rope there makes it a lot safer. Mm -hmm. 
Yo, Sanj, thanks for 48 months. Appreciate the four years. Thank you. Let's go. Not a bad start. Not good either. Okay, we got a decent amount of vertical height here. You always have to worry on Hundun about uh, Hundun catching up to you. So the higher you can get right away, the better. Ooh, interesting. We got clipped by that, but not stuck to it. That is abnormal. Okay, bow goes here. I'll use a skull on this, I guess. Hey, glad you've been enjoying uh, Nova Drift Prime. It's a good one. Always great to hear somebody found a game they enjoy because of the channel. Man, Sanjay, has it really been four years already? Where does the time go, my man? Nope, not on that one. Gonna use bombs here. I was debating doing the float down, but that was a clean shot. Two bombs should do it with the poison head. Womps. Well, all right, everybody, before we head into our cosmic ocean for today, we made it again. Only had one day that didn't have a cosmic ocean so far, this Fragmas, uh, and that day we just played something else early. And I did actually get the cosmic ocean uh, off stream that day too. Anywho, this is going to take a short break here. Stand up, stretch my legs, use the restroom, grab some more water, encourage you to do the same. Please do enjoy any kitties that may or may not appear uh, during our brief intermission. We'll return momentarily uh, to continue this run with the cosmic compass in the cosmic ocean. Should be good.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thank you so much for your patience during that brief intermission. We're going to head into the cosmic ocean for the first time today, and probably our only time here with the Alien Compass. I don't have an Alien Compass win yet. In fact, this is our first time entering cosmic ocean with Alien Compass, so we'll see how that goes. Basically, the Alien Compass gives us information on where the exit is in cosmic ocean, so that's one less piece of information that we need to... Uh, that we need to gain. We just have to find the orbs and of course clear the exit, but it should make it a little bit quicker. Okay, so there it is. Um, okay, that's pretty nasty actually. Let's go over this way. I'm not leaving this crab here, man. I won't. Bonk. That'll make a good last orb right there. Yeah, very helpful on gigantic levels for sure. That is uh, a big benefit of the item, no doubt. This level, however, not gigantic. Uh, ooh, it doesn't look right. Back for that. Blumps. Pretty wide level, not deep at all, though. In fact, that orb was probably safer than the one I'm about to pop, but no matter where you go, there you are. Turns out we're right here. Oh, there's more spittle right there, okay. Oh my goodness, this level is out of control already fine. Okay, whatever. That cat just get running off the edge, too? Hmm. Okay. Ah! <sighs> Alright, dude. I'm using one more bomb here. This is crazy cursed, indeed. Get me out of here. Okay, cursed cat right there that we're in danger of for sure. Okay, cursed kitty level, I understand. Machete, right. Okay, it's not on the top. We saw the entire top area. Let's just go down away from this cursed level. Okay, here's the remaining two orbs. Uh, thanks for popping that for me. Jesus, we're so lucky to be alive right now. Uh, Breadbox, we took the Duot route this time, so no clone gun available. That was one of the most bananas temple openers I've ever seen. I've seen worse temples than that, but as a starting area in the temple, I think that one takes the tops.
Yo, Kilroy, thank you so much for keeping it dapper, man. Totally understand that. Glad you could be here to watch this stream today, dude. Thanks for being an awesome part of the channel and community. So thank you all for creating this wonderful place that we can hang out together, enjoy a game, and the company of each other. No place quite like it online. I'm grateful for this experience each and every day. Just thank you so much. Oh. There we go. Oh, that was it? Okay. We got jelly right on top. Yep, that is the benefit of the alien compass. It shows where the exit is. Now, it's not a required item by any means because, well, both of our 799 victories without compass. And if you understand the spatial nature of this area, it's not going to be uh, too bad. But, uh, on a very big level, uh, it'd be extremely helpful to have a pointer to your exit. Did I just see a giant crab on the exit? No, it's just a regular octopus. Okay. I need to fix this. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna enter from this side. It's orb number one noise. Only three deep, not bad. Orb number two. This is orb number three right here. Should be coming from the bottom. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the wooden shield can break where the metal shield does not. Get up here, you stinky mole. <laughs> yes, we definitely still do dapper time. Oh, snap. That was scary. There we go. Um... How deep is this? Not very. Um. Yeah, there's a cursed cat on the exit here. That's not good. Can I fix this with a rock? Probably not. Oh yeah, fixed with a rock. Let's pop this right here. It's gonna have this go left. I'm gonna leave that orb there. It's a very nice last orb for our popping. It's actually been six years, Corello. Oh, there it is, right there. Um, I'm gonna put a bomb here. Um, okay. Can I pop this without a complication there? Yes and no. Later tater. Oh, no, not later tater. We're done. I broke my legs. 
All right, that was a fun run. It was just one tile too deep on that. Is fair. All right, guys, we're going to slide over to some Nova Drift. We're going to work on getting some unlocks and maybe some high score today. We'll see what happens. a second here to set this up and we'll be in we're really impressed with the latest updates to this game where is it there it is There you can't go capture. You can do it. All right, so we're just going to be doing the endless mode, which is the main mode right now. Um, I don't have any of these other things unlocked just yet, so we guys still got a lot of stuff to unlock in the game. We got bosses are more powerful. Uh, asteroids, comets, and black holes appear more frequently. Encounters are nastier. Elite increase. Um, not going to activate these two right now. Let's just go. Oh, hey, I need to swap controllers. One sec. This one's definitely an Xbox controller game for me. All right, so if you're new to Nova Drift, it is a roguelite asteroid style game. So you level up as you clear waves and then you pick your gear and create a build. Let's do split shot to go here. It's also very pretty. Yeah, they've actually improved the art assets a lot since I first started playing. It's always been a very beautiful game, but uh, they really, I don't know, they've done some really good stuff here. Let's go for Orbital Shield. This one was fun. So you pick your weapon type, shield type, and then body type, and then you start taking regular upgrades from there. Hey, you as well, Torok. Had a good one. Thank you. It's great to share another Christmas Eve and Christmas here on Twitch. Actually, our, uh, we spent every December together since I've started streaming in 2012. The first two years being the two-year livestream challenge and the uh, subsequent years being our winter fragments. No place I'd rather be. Nothing I'd rather be doing. What was Architect to do? Okay. I'm going to go for Engineer here. Let's try to go for more of a drone build. I haven't really pulled off a successful drone-ish build yet. I keep taking other stuff I shouldn't. <laughs> Definitely still want to take some weapon upgrades, but... There's other stuff that works as well. Well, here's turrets and mines. Uh, I'm going to take... I'm going to check this. Do I have to activate the mines myself? I do. Okay, that's fine. I can keep up on that. Oh, I can stack them, too. Okay, cool, cool. 
Oh snap, those are awesome. Loaded mines, on detonation your mines fire your weapon in a radial spread, okay? Mine field, your mines are deployed all at once in a cluster. Uh, magnitude, I think I might just take this for the weapon increase right now. The loaded mine sounds awesome. Hey Hans Trashy, thanks for 20 months, much appreciation. Okay, mines are pretty good. Okay, drones, here we go. Let's try loaded mines. I mean, that gives us a little more incentive for putting them out. Okay, elegant construction, probably great. Targeting, certainly not bad here. Let's just keep going on construction, though. Get more drones, get more mines, quicker mines. Ooh. Okay, upgrading the weapon increases the effectiveness of these spreads. Makes sense. Wow. I guess some other um, types of weapons like Thermal Lance might work really good with that. Right, I'm going to take a shield boost here. I mean, certainly taking a defensive uh, boon, not going to be bad. Boncaroni. Oh, snap. I got blown up. Oh, good start. Good start. Not sure how I feel about mines. Uh, if they auto-deployed, I think I'd like it a little bit better. Yo, uh, let's get all caught up here. Coedly, thanks for four wonderful months. Glad you could make it today. Hans Trashy, thanks for 20. And Jacob the Moose, thanks for 87 months. Legendary. Railgun, Thermal Lance, Torrent. Let's go for Flak here.
Reflect, Shield, Warp, Orbital. Uh, it's him I like Temporal a lot. I'm going to go for Orbital again, though. I think it's pretty cool. Swing and a miss. Firefly Carrier. Engineer, a hole break. Let's go for a carrier here. Magnitude sounds cool. We have less rate of fire here, but we're hitting very hard, so that's less, less bad, I think. Plus two drone construct limits. You know, I think I may actually take this and go drones. Ally is always nice, too. We can avoid that. Payload's nice as well. Yeah, let's take Wild Mod Drone Specialist, and then I'm gonna take drones. Interesting. So this gave me drones. Okay. Okay. So that's going to give me four drones. So just taking the wild mod, the drone specialist gave us drone slots. I thought we'd have to pick up drones after the fact there to make that work. Ah, uh, yes, carrier perk as well. Gotcha. So no turrets or ally for us here, but uh, I think our build's pretty nice right now. Definitely feeling like I could focus on some defensive upgrades here sooner rather than later. I mean, that's huge. Oh, elegant construction is also very nice. I'm going to take a shield upgrade here, though. Nice, dude. Oh, get wrecked by swarms. Scorching Wake, Targeting, Adaptive Armor, Volley. I want Burst Fire with this. I'm going to take uh, Slipstream here for global damage up and minus friction. I actually like the having at least a little bit of the minus friction, because then when we uh, boost a little bit, we float, which helps dodge projectiles a lot. Grandeur is not bad either. I'm going to take this. Give this two levels here. Transmogrification, slipstream again, rocket drone, skirmish, phantom strike. The target's alive after you deal a whole crash damage to it. You teleport to the opposite side of it, aim and fire an empowered attack. Oh, that's cool. Let's go for targeting here. Certainly, Rate of Fire is not going to be a bad one. Non-explosive projectiles deal 15% damage as blast damage to other targets. That seems very good with flak since we have so many projectiles coming out. 
Weapon Velocity is also good with Flak. Uh, Warpath, also very nice too. So I'm going to take Warpath here. So this will increase our fire rate as we kill enemies, which as you can see is happening at a pretty decent rate. Ooh, Grand Jur again. Um, let's take Payload this time, though. 30% weapon damage is not a small amount of weapon damage. That was a really nice uh, worm there. Charge shot is good with flak, but not here. Next recursive wild mod you choose is gain three times instead of one. Might do that. I'll stick elegant construction here. Splinter, yes. Uh, I got three levels there. Holy guacamole! I'll take adaptive armor. Ow. Oh, we got empowered attack right now too. Shield cooldown, I'm in. Reflexive shields also nice. Let's get get in on this though. This might actually be a build I want to take and prove thrust on. Okay, Galvanic Outburst, Volatile Shields. Death Blossom, Channeling, Armor Stacks, Improved Regeneration, 0.4 per stack, okay. It's nice. Rebuke. Interesting. I'm going to do a re-roll here. Let's see what we get. Okay, Guidance, maybe not. I'm going to take Blast Radius here, because our projectiles doing Blast Damage 2 seems quite good, especially on segmented enemies. We're not a quick ship, that's for sure. Here comes the boss. Get into the cavity here real quick. Oop. Try again. Very good boss fight, wow. Extra blast radius is good. I wonder what plating does. Can anybody explain the plating mechanic? Plating reduces hull damage by a flat amount. Okay. Sounds good. Chaotic Ambition. I'm going to take Focus Shields now. Got a really good shield build going on. This might even be an Omni shield build, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting, is this turret feller shooting at the enemy? No, it's shooting at us.
Uh, I believe self-destruction would work here for the swarm constructs that we're generating automatically. Hmm, I gotta try this. Because if my little fellers do a shockwave when they die, that is really good for us. Oh, burst fire. Yeah. Yeah. That's a huge damage increase, man. We do fire a lot slower, but three times. Wake, passive regeneration. I mean, regeneration does sound good, but our shields are so nice right now. I think our damage is pretty good. I'm gonna go for... Um... Let's go for a reroll. We got 12. Channeling, armor stacks, improve regeneration. Yes, it's good. Skirmish, global damage again. Discord. Uh, how many wild mons do we have? We only have one orb there. Let's reroll this again. Overseer. Your non-weapon construct limits are doubled. You can no longer fire your weapon. Okay. Probably not on that. I'm going to go weaponized shields here. Oh, snap. I don't want to hit that guy. So what we've done is we've built up a really large shield bar. Give me that. Let's go for reinforced drones now. Bump. Bumpy bump again. Let's just worry about getting our shields back up. There we go. Those are homing missiles.
reflexive shields. I'm gonna keep going into shields, man. We got a good thing going on here. It hit me there. Turret, I think. Shielded constructs. Okay. Uh, no. I'm gonna go for improved thrusters here, I think. Oh, velocity is also quite good. Barrier? No, barrier's it. Let the reshieldening begin. Yes, velocity is range here. Thanks for pointing that out. That is true. I just feel like our damage right now is okay. So the more shielding and stuff we can get sounds good. Spontaneous generation. Um, I don't see any reason not to take this. Just more swarm stuff for us. Oh, snap. Double tap is another burst, though. Okay, we're going to take double tap. That's Now we get four flax going off. Just a spritz. Ooh, dog. Look at those orbs. Okay, shields back online. Feels good. Can we let this carrier spawn some stuff? Uh, I get XP for this. Or XP for these, I should say. Ow. That was scary. Unlock specialized drone types. Do once. I'm gonna wait for my shield bubble to pop here. There we go. So I'm not mistaken here, most pink vessels drop XP, so like letting this carrier spawn some stuff isn't necessarily bad. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and go Omni Shield here. All right, we got a huge shield bubble now. Yes, we don't have any hull, but that's besides the point. Oh, snap a rizzle. Assault drones. I think I'd actually prefer defense drones right now. 
Uh, is flash shielding good with Omni Shield? I think 40% less maximum shield sounds pretty scary. The recharge rate sounds awesome. Mm, I would like the thrust too, but it seems like if we're going to do a banish, this would be the one. Maybe I'll do some rerolls now. Rebuke, regeneration. That's whole regeneration. Unlocks regenerative shields, though. Let's actually do that. Ooh, another burst, though. I'm going to take regeneration now and then go for regenerative shields. That is the ticket right now. It's about to get spicy in here, so keeping a shield bubble up uh, gets increasingly more difficult. Yikes. Ah, this feller. for walking right into that. That was kind. What's this? Super Mod Last Stand. Okay, that's the Reborn one. Not gonna worry about that here. Charge Shot, Improved Thrusters. Thrusters might not be bad right now. Uh, let's do a reroll, though. We got lots of them. Weapon Velocity certainly isn't bad. Snipe would end up being really OP, too. Yeah, Revelation's good. Not right now, though. I keep rolling here. Priority zero. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do another one. Just gonna keep rolling, see what we get. Okay, let's go for Granger here. Get two levels. Maximum hold. Okay, defense drones is what I want. Counter pulse. That sounds cool. Formation rampart. Shielding, Maelstrom, rolling here, Defiance, probably not bad, Regenerative Shields, here we go, here we go. So now our shields can go back up, but they also regenerate when the bar is charging, which is big because we're all shields right now. I think that counter pulse on the defense drones probably looks pretty spicy here. Ow. Woo, I love Poppy Cohen. Ready to upgrade, here we go. Your body gear's unique powers are improved by 10%. Uh, it doesn't sound too bad. Targets take more global damage the more damaged you are. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work here because we have only shielding, so the percentage increase should not change it at all. Let's re-roll. Hmm. That actually seems like it could be pretty good.
I'm gonna go for improved thrusters here right now. Oh yeah, it feels a lot better. Oh snap, am I dead? Done. Oh, interesting. All right, got him. Pulsive munitions, shielded constructs, deadly wake, hyper metabolism. I think I'm going to roll here again. Let's try counter pulse. I have never had defense drones with counter pulse, so let's see what it looks like. I think we're wanting some offensive upgrades now. Seems it's kind of hard to go wrong with defense in this game, though. We are boosted. Good. I remember this guy. Rebuke, Velocity. Let's take Velocity here to start working towards uh, Snipe, which would be, I think, the largest damage increase we can get. It's almost dead. Kind of crazy you're out to able to out defense that guy that way. Whoa, man. Please don't. Uh, let's say, where's he at? This mastery. 5% improved weapon damage, projectile velocity, projectile size, speed spread, blast radius, and rate of fire. How do I not take that? I don't. Could fish for snipe, but I mean, that's just, uh, that's just a solid increase. Get me out of here. Plus one drone construct limit. I mean, it certainly doesn't sound bad. Streamline, extra thrust. Minus size and drone orbit radius. Uh, plus five levels. You lose all rerolls and can never gain more. That's fine. I'm going to do that now because five levels at this point is huge. Actually, efficiency could be quite good if we're uh, trying to run defensively. I think it's a little bit late for that.
Uh, rupture would be quite good. Streamline projectiles. There it is. Is this calibrate? Yep. Calibrate's okay. Um, absorption juggernaut. Let's take channeling. Let's give me snipe game. You can do it. Okay, we'll take the flotilla. I'm gonna take the burn damage here. Okay, we did not get the ones we wanted, but it's still quite good. Still in a good spot. Yeah, this game is still in early access. So they're still developing it more, though they've put a ton of work into it since it originally released in early access. I think the game's in a very good spot right now. Still got a lot of unlocks to get myself. Okay, we can't re-roll now, which is fine. It's going to take what's good. Uh, I'm going to take Volatile Shields to just increase this shield bubble. I mean, the more shields we have, the more regenerative shields can actually pop off. So I think any increase to shield strength is actually very powerful. Oh, don't stand in that. It's a thermal lance, by the way. Whoa, that was scary. It's just how strong the global damage increases with all these swarms being generated. It's very good. Okay, uh, Calibrate, I want Snipe instead of Calibrate, though I suppose Calibrate at worst is a increase. Convergence is all right, too. Okay, hold on. Your shield effect power is increased by your current speed. Yo, Fenroy, thanks for three months. Appreciate you keeping it damper. Let's do Calibrate. So, when we don't fire, uh, our weapon gets more powerful. Since we have a delay between shots, at the very least, is providing some sort of damage up. If I'm not mistaken, the da possible damage increase on this is pretty nutty. Wow. I think it was better than I imagined. If we can get Snipe on top of this, our damage is pretty much sorted.
Calibrate does not do increased damage. Okay. That's right. Velocity is damage with flak. That's why it's working so good. Big bada boom. Okay, not purge. I want the other side of that. Plus five base hole, plus five base shields. Core shielding sounds great. Let's. Again, the more shields we have, the better Omni Shield can do for us. Seven. Okay, Incendiary Strike is bonus damage. Charge Shot could be okay here, too. I guess we might as well. It's going to change the way we fire, but... We don't even have to use Charge Shot. We can use Charge Shot on a boss. Cheesy rice, man. This guy gain HP uh, through the waves? Feels that way. Just die, sir. scary, man. No, he's not gone. This guy's got crazy HP, man. It's all good. There we go, wow. Not sure if charge shot really helped us out here, but we're alive. You know, we could have got two in a row on that boss. That makes some sense. We already have advanced engineering here. Uh, we'll take concentrated blast. We do have blast damage. Ooh, 
Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Poppy coin. <laughs> Singular detected. No thanks. He didn't have time to summon it. Yo. There it is, snipe. Extra weapon velocity and bonus damage based on distance. So that is a huge increase right now. It's exactly what we needed. Sheasel. Good. I think we just got our top score right now. We did. Nice. Who we got here? There it is, corrosion. This is actually really powerful because we're applying corrosion so often. Corrosive stacks, yeah, that's the one. Singularity detected. Okay, we'll be over here then. Good luck, sir. Oh, 
Oh no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. That's close. A non-charged shot takes that guy out, great to know. Get absolutely blabbing, my man. Corrosion damage does count as burn, I believe, yes. Not 100 on that, but pretty sure. Level 51 here. Almost. There it is. Uh, purification. Here we go. Here we go. It's minus weapon damage, but we get hole and shield recovered while enemies are burning. So this is additional defense. As we can tell, damage is not really our problem. Oh yeah, that burn damage is sick. Oh no. That burn damage is wicked. A lot of XP right there. Okay, this is Boss Feller. The burn stack's gonna help here a lot on the damage, I think. We're dead. Well, that was a really good run. Our best yet, in fact, by almost 200,000. Okay, cool. Sweet, man. Ashley Zora, thanks for 24 months. Appreciate that. Two years in Vile 678. Thanks for 13. All right, give me just a second here and we'll hop into another run. Just going to use the restroom real fast and then we'll be into it.
All right, awesome. Let's do it again. That was a very fun build. Unexpected to make it that far with that particular ship. How much XP does this give? 25%. Uh, I almost wonder if it's worth activating all of these. Let's try it with all activated because this way we have... even more XP. I mean, 10% more XP would have been a uh, much higher level on that last one. Yes, it is going to make the opening waves harder, but that's how it goes. I'm going to do a reroll here. Let's go for a salvo build this time. Blade was fun. Thermal Lance is fun. Split Shot's fun. Salvo's pretty great, though. Okay. I'm going to go Temporal Shield this time. And let's see what we got. Spectre, Assault. The Cloak with the Salvo works really nicely together, so I'm going to take that. So when we Cloak, we do bonus damage when we fire the Salvo. Cloaking happens really quickly, so it's just a good way to get XP. I'm going to take Grandeur to start here, just get us extra levels. Actually, maybe we should hold off on this since early XP is a lot easier to level up on. This is looking like um, ally pickup. Okay, I mean, damage, blast radius, projectile size, I'm in. Let's go maximum shields here. I really like that Omni Shield build, uh, it seemed to be quite good. Rate of fire, projectile velocity, weapon damage, reflexive shields, elegant construction. I'm going to go for rate of fire because that's 15% faster charging of the missiles. So we generate more missiles to fire more quickly. That should equal more damage. Yo, Gigum, thanks for six months. Appreciate that half year very much. Thank you. Round burst is actually just very good here. Uh, same deal. It'll fire our missiles a little bit slower, but uh, that doesn't matter. Okay, let's go evasion here. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Uh, Warpath is another uh, way we can generate more missiles more quickly. Hey, nice to see you as well, Etsy. Hope you're doing good, man. Okay, jamming. Yeah, let's go ahead and take shielding. Area of effect on this particular shield is awesome. <laughs> nice play, partner. Pulse of munitions does not seem bad since our weapon's home. Is 
that's really bad since our uh, our shield pushes stuff away from us. It pulls things into us instead. Let's try nanotech construction here. So I'm going to try letting this uh, carrier spawn some stuff, because as far as I can tell, everything that it spawns gives us XP. So we can take the risk of more damage, but we can get a ton more XP off of this particular enemy. Yeah, all these are spawning XP. This is a good deal right here. Oh, except for I'm dead. Hubris strikes again. Yo, Gonzo the Sock Puppet, thanks for 84 months. Much appreciation, dude. Oh, nice try. I'm going to do the take off the waves advance faster, but leave everything else. Let's go flak again. Warp, reflect, shockwave, amp. Shields 50, 60, 115 on reflect. Let's do that. That's a high, very high base shield. AKS FJH, thanks for 41 months. Rockin'. I haven't tried Leviathan yet. Let's give it a go. Snaky feller. Maximum shields, fire rate, velocity. Let's go for velocity right now. Shield cooldown reduced. Okay, well, I'm going to take magnitude, though. <laughs> Shield's next. Got some great damage up boons right now. Rate of fire, snipe already? Okay. Okay. That kind of solves our damage for the moment. Uh, let's go for maximum hull on this one. I think doing a split build here between hull and shield is probably going to be better than omni shield since we have so many segments. I don't know that, but it seems like a pretty good guess. Rate of fire, burst fire. Uh, yes. Ow. Calibrate. Let's go rate of fire here. I dead. Huh. Feel like you should be dead, sir.
Uh, there it is. Okay, let's give this a quad burst. Certainly not bad. Thirty percent weapon damage. Okay, I'm in. Really loving the look of the Leviathan. It's got a real fluid motion to it. Okay, let's go adaptive armor here. That seems like it'd be extra OP on this since we're gonna have a hard time avoiding damage overall. Yo, Grim Shard, thanks for seven months and Jolly Roger dropping the 63. Just thank you all for sharing this time and place on our day 27 of our six annual fragments. Mm. Hard to believe that this January 5th is nine years full time here on the site. It's incredible. Uh, I didn't really like Charge Shot. I like the effect, but um, I'm just going to go plating here. Found it harder to aim with Charge Shot. Not that it would reduce my damage in any way, though, because it did not. It was very good for damage. Calibrate would probably work, though. Um... No, oh, spontaneous generation. Here we go. This produces little fellers that fight for us. That's good. Who doesn't like little fellers, huh? Okay, let's go for rebuke. We're going to go for more of an armor type deal. Okay, we're getting a bonus here to start. Please say yes. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't realize how bad this was to be in here. Okay, well, um, better lucky than good. <laughs> Look at all those swarms. I'm gonna do a roll here. Juggernaut. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do that. It's less thrust, but um, we big nail. Certainly be liking some shield cooldown improvements right now. Oh, I see. We're going through the screen. armor. There it is. Extra thrusters right now would be pretty useful.
Corrosion could be real good here. Let's take Splinter, though. Reduce our rate of fire, but makes our spread a lot better. Let's go shield cooldown. That seems re very relevant to this build. <laughs> Should not have been hanging in there, but I did. take volatile shields here. That actually sounds pretty good. We're losing our shield bubble quite regularly, so makes sense. Haha, <laughs> dude. It's a tough guy. Yeah, it is Finn. Very cool looking here. It's definitely a different movement style, no doubt there. Oh crap, I'm dead. Haha, <laughs> what a death animation. Not bad for our first run. Let your projectile screen ramp once. Okay, Warp Strike sounds awesome. Yes, I got poppy corned. That's true. While charging, you take ramping self whole self damage. That's tough. I'm gonna try torrent. All right, Torrin's going to need some help. Halo, Warp, Amp, Orbital, Bastion. Let's take uh, Orbital again. This worked pretty good last time. Yes, yeah, so I can see Warp Strike doing mega work with the, um, the Salvo, for sure. Cool. Carrier, Research, Hole Breaker, Firefly. I kind of want to take Carrier again. It's just good. What does chat think some of the best perks for uh, the torrent weapon are? Obviously, projectile velocity has got to be decent. This should give us more distance. Yes. Okay. So velocity is good.
blast radius doesn't seem bad either. Okay, I'm going to take drones right now. Drones are pretty much always good. I don't want to be here. Enjoy your puppy corn. <laughs> Snipe, okay. Snipe's probably all right. Let's go rate of fire, though. Uh, War pass, always decent. This one does burn damage, right? Show super mods, okay. Okay, this is what we have unlocked. Can I hover over here and see what it is? I can. Torrent. Okay, this is not... Not burn damage. I'll do a roll here. Impulsive munitions, maelstrom, targeting. Targeting is probably not bad. Burst fire, I don't think that'd work here. Yes, corrosion would be really good here, wouldn't it? Let's do another reroll. I'm going to take shield cooldown. I guess snipe's not going to be bad. It's extra projectile velocity, too, so we get um, better damage that goes further. I love puppy cone. Okay, I'm going to go here so we can get down to burn damage. Nice. Sounds like a real fun build, Coda. Sure. Magnitude sounds great. There we go. Now we have a functioning weapon. Here, 30% weapon damage just does not seem like a bad idea on any build. Oh, I need that. Is just generally pretty good. Uh, so let's roll here, though. There we go. Corrosion. That's the one. So each one of these hits can apply corrosive stack now. So that is a uh, really huge. Should be a pretty massive increase in damage, in fact. I believe corrosive stacks do stack on top of each other, unlike the incendiary strike.
We're almost always firing, so it's a tough one to take. I mean, sure. Shield radius. Sounds good. Splinter. Let's see what Splinter does with this. I think it sounds decent. Got him. Okay, purge isn't the only one. We want the other one, the purification, which we've already taken the other side of. Certainly don't think that slightly improved projectile targeting is going to be bad. We're not going to take the other ones, which reduce velocity, but having some scaling on that should be good. was good indeed. There it is. Purification. Okay, we get less weapon damage, but we get more burn damage, which is happening with the corrosion, which more or less makes up for it, and gives us uh, some passive healing. Actually, it looks like very good passive healing. We have so many projectiles hitting so many targets. Not bad. Snap. I did that. Alright, that was dumb. Efficiency skirmish. Let's do a reroll here. These all look okay. Warpath. 30% fire rate is not bad. I like barrier though. My man got poppy corn. Okay, the swarms heal your hole and shield as well. That's pretty amazing. Here it is. No, that's not the one. Oh. We'll take rocket drones, sure. Hmm. 
Nice. Another one. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up ally here. I mean, having the ally is not going to be bad. Incendiary Strike isn't bad because we're hitting so often, and we do have bonus burn damage too. Uh, self Destruction is good with these little swarm fellers. I know that. Warpath doesn't sound bad. I'm going to try Incendiary Strike. Whoops, sorry about all that damage. Did he blow up? He did? Okay. Oh, snap. Incendiary Strike helped out a lot. Um, yes, this is bonus damage. We're getting blast damage on each hit now. Good. This feller's gonna be tough. placement. Hey, glad you've been enjoying this. Like, it's an awesome game. Um, really, like, I said it like five or six times now, but really impressed with um, how they've improved the game through the... Um, various updates. What's uh, this? Ally specialist. Do I have drones right now? Plus two ally projectiles. Let's take slipstream here. Global damage is awesome on these little swarms. Because global damage is global. That also improves our burn damage and everything else.
Okay, I did that. Yeah, they do have a lot more planned for the game for sure. Dev's been very good about communicating their intentions. Uh, I'm gonna guess Burst Fire doesn't do anything for this. Poppycorn! Let's go ahead and take nanotech reconstruction. The snakes do so much damage. Careful, man. We're in trouble. Yep, we're in trouble. Well, that was a fun experiment. Antimatter rounds, okay. Fun build, not bad. Do it again. I learned several things about torrent builds there. I think I want to take torrent on a research build next time. Alright, I'm not great at aiming the railgun, but I'm going to do it anyways. Are we dead already? Not quite good. The highest base shield here. Reflect. Uh, Bastion only protects the front, though. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take Temporal here. And what are we going to do? There's Research, Assault. Uh, you know, I'm going to take Assault here, because I think we're going to go in on trying to get some homing weapon stuff going on. Velocity damage, rate of fire, blast radius. I'm actually going to use a couple of rolls here looking for specific stuff. You know what? Drones to begin will be very good. And there we go. Got some projectile targeting. That helps me out a lot. The further we are away, the easier it is to have that homing payoff. Rail gunning. Okay, let's do homing strike here. There we go. There we go. Homing strike is independent of our regular shots, so this will be more incidental uh, damagers. But you can see the homing on them is quite good. Oh, I don't want to be here. Yoinks. I don't know. Railgun's not as hard to aim as I remembered. Get boosted. Okay, burn damage will be good later. Let's go ahead and take ally here, though. I think a little bit of extra will be nice. Dude, I'm loving it. Let 
Yeah, those homing shots are really great for those tiny ships, man. Um, I do think a defensive upgrade or two would be really good right now. We're all offense at the moment. Uh, we'll go rate of fire now, then we're looking for shields and other stuff. The homing shots are very weak, but they do add up. Because they're just bonus damage on our build. I mean... Okay, I'm gonna go shield cooldown here. I don't think damage is our current problem. It's not. Volatile shields, velocity. Velocity actually decreases the homing capability a bit. Though, snipe and calibrate. Snipe be really good at the railgun. I'm going to try Hyper Metabolism here. This does lower our shield and overall hull, but gives us passive regeneration, so... It uh, looks like that might only be for hull. 45% though is not, like, a joke. Okay, yeah, we gotta get some defensive stuff going here. Let's go maximum hull increase, then. Oh yeah, 45% regeneration is really good. I guess the main problem with this mod is often when you die in this game, it's because you take an immediate huge chunk of damage. Okay, let's take Juggernaut here. So we can stack hull. That means our regeneration rate is proportionally increased. I think. Well, that guy's dead. Oh, snap. Are we dead? No, we're not. We survived that. Oh, okay. Now we're blabbing. Okay, we got a little greedy there, though uh, I can see how Railgun gets OP real fast. You can definitely die to Singularities. I've died to plenty of them, though they do, uh, I believe, a minimum damage. Let's give Railgun another go. That was fun. Definitely looking for homing to begin. Good chunk of XP there. All right, I'm gonna go for orbital shields here. Plus three projectiles for projectile weapons. Okay. 
Okay, well, we've got this 45 degree angle thing going on, which is a little bit awkward, but I think if we get a little homing with this, we have ourselves a certified build. Can't even say this is great right now, but it's interesting. One nice thing about firing from the sides, too, is that you can uh, kind of strafe a lot more easily. Okay, I'm going to go for a reroll here to begin. Plus five levels already. A little early for that. Adds weapon recoil. Hmm. All right, I'll go for a rate of fire here. All my practice with Dunce Cat pays off right now. There it is. It's actually really nice for strafing. Ow, that hurt. Blast radius is fine. Let's go ahead and add drones into this, though. I think having anything that's firing uh, automatically at stuff is going to be really nice. Helps clean up some of those smaller objectives that we can't quite aim at. Warpath is fine. Ally. Let's grab ally here, too. Don't need to go ham on the drone upgrades, but just getting just getting drones and allies is a significant increase to our overall build. A lot of XP right there, man. Homing strike, let's do it. Saw what this did last time, it was nice. Roll that. Uh, last damage, maybe not. Okay, I'll just take shields here. Certainly one we're going to take eventually. Might as well take it now. Yes, wraparound shots would be ideal with this build. I agree. I saw something about you take whole damage when they wrap, though, which could be troublesome. Velocity damages. Railgun scale with velocity here. Damage scales with projectile velocity, indeed. Okay. how bravado works with the uh, carrier here. Does this actually give us another projectile? Probably not. Okay, here we go. Convergence, more projectiles. We, we are the flat cannon now. Here we go, snipe and damage projectile. Ball. That's just a huge increase in our damage capability. Like, this build's not gonna be good at dealing single target damage. It's gonna be great at clearing ways right now. The nice part is these bosses that spawn adds are gonna get their, uh, their additional units just wrecked.
definitely see single targets a problem for us. There we go. This begins. Really, the turret dropped that much XP? It was like a half a level for us right now. Rate of fire, oh, three round burst. That would be pretty good, I think. Plus two projectiles, though. Now we're blapping. Okay, the good thing about this build, uh, although we can see our single target damage is lacking a lot, is anytime large waves spawn, we're gonna get every single kill and maximize our X XP. Now I'm gonna use my last reroll here. Okay, incendiary strike sounds good. The single projectile stuff will just be burning and go into burn damage too. Just gotta really worry about positioning here. Wave 40. All right, I'm gonna go in this time, but I'm not gonna hang in after the fact. We're not gonna do the uh, hang in here and die. Nice burn damage going on. Here we are. Oh, we're hanging in. Is good. I mean, shield effect radius can't be bad. Does adaptive armor work with shield? It says whole and shield on it. Oh, we got tags down here. I didn't even notice this. I don't think reduced spread actually helps out too much here. It's an idea, though. Um, it does get us to the even more projectiles. Let's give it a shot. I want to see what it looks like. Burst fire certainly isn't bad uh, either, but magnitude, man. We can get bursts later. Oh, man, that incendiary damage really changed the build. in a very good way. Not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna hate Railgun, but um, here we are. Loving it. Ah, uh, is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and take uh, burn damage, though. I do think this particular body type with the, the railgun is what's making it feel good. The extra projectile out. Yeah, if we get the healing while enemies are on fire, it's gonna be really nice because we're basically applying a burn damage to every single enemy on the screen with our first volley, which is a big deal. Okay, he's quick. Gotcha.
Shield cooldowns always legit. Spontaneous generation. Oh, hell yeah, I want swarms right now. That's the one. There's really no downside to this mod. It just generates uh, little fellers. I'd say half hour would be a decent, decently long run for this game. Ooh, Splinter, though. Gotta feel like Guidance is okay here, too, though. Both of these reduce our damage in a way. Guidance reduces our damage by 20% by lowering velocity. Let's see how good the homing is, though. It should be really nice. Oh, yeah. It is. It's a 20% damage down, but we're having a lot more of our projectiles hit. So I think that was a solid get. Okay, here's Corrosion, too. This is more burning. This is going to unlock the uh, perk to make us heal when enemies are burning, too. This should be very good. Thank you for doing the singularity, sir. Give us time to regenerate our shields here. getting there. All right. Uh, barrier is very strong defensive upgrade. Look how little defensive upgrades we have right now. I need to start taking shield stuff. Or hole or just whatever defense. We got great wave clear. Not the best boss fight, but I, I know how to dodge the boss's patterns. Will I? Uh, good question. Okay, here we go. There it is. I know I just talked about shielding, but this not only improves our damage out, it gives us more corrosion stacks. the old reversey. Nice. 
Yeah, like these ways where the enemies disappear, uh, we're getting a lot more XP with this build because we're not leaving any enemies unkilled. Okay, blast damage uh, is a damage increase, but what have we been saying? We need shield or whole stuff here. Calibrate splinter also has to be good though, right? What does it look like? Pretty good. Oh man. I feel like I'm about to get punished with this build. It's only wave 70 though, so we're not that far off. Big bada boom. Death Blossom. Let's go shield cooldown. That seems like a great idea. Means if we lose our shields, it recharges one fifth faster. That's good. Okay, we don't have a lot of wild mods. Look how much red we have. Oh my goodness. There's purification. Okay. Now we get a percentage base heal for enemies being on fire. Uh, it does reduce our overall weapon damage. We have two sources of burn damage, incendiary strike and corrosion, which are independent of each other. So the 30% bonus to uh, burn damage will make up for that. Oh. Finally, an enemy that's not dying immediately. Good for him. I love poppycorn! I don't think Omni Shield is it for this build. I will take reflexive shields though. There it is, doubles base projectiles, it's in. Okay, now we must take like every defensive perk we can possibly find. Double projectiles though, I'm not turning that down. Not today, not ever. Okay, if one's popping here, more is going to start popping soon. Rice, man. This half health on the boss is a little bit deceptive. Because when the segments pop, it's going to be less than that. Go over here and let my shield regenerate. There we go. 
Okay, we need the thrust tree if we want work warp strike to show up. Thank you. I think a little extra thrust would actually be really nice on this build right now. Hell yeah. There it is. Slipstream, not bad either. Let's go ahead and get uh, improved thrust, though. 25% more thrust, gonna be nice. Yo, let me get caught up here. Sorry for being a little bit behind. Judge of Mephesto, thanks for 13... Or, sorry, thanks for 19 months. Much appreciation, dude. OST Bacon, thanks for 29 in Silent Image. Thank you so much for that gift. Just thank you all for sharing this time and place. Another boss here. Oh, this is Singularity guy, that's right. Interesting how this one does not have a health bar. Uh, Calorian Endless Mode is currently the main mode for the game. There's will be more of a story mode eventually, I believe. sure on wraparound since it does damage to us. I mean, it might be really good, or it might just be, uh, death. Guess we'll find out if we survive long enough to get it, which is looking like an if right now. Uh, this, this build definitely struggles on bosses, but it's doing su super fantastic on these large waves of enemies. Okay, got him. What I do like about this, I can mostly just focus on dodging. I don't have to worry about aiming as much. Very helpful. I mean, weapon damage plus 30%. I think I need to take that. That improves our incendiary strike, too. Yeah, we just unlocked Antimatter Shot and Warp Shot today, so I haven't tried either of those yet. Definitely open for some experimentation. Super bonked. Super bonked into dead. Dude, look at that sea of red stuff that we took. It took almost no defense and still made it pretty darn far. Oh, so we were offered additional gear choices for our initial selections. Fun upgrade.
Oh, I can't be mad about that one. That was fun. Blade, flak, pulse, torrent, blade, railgun. I'm gonna go back to split shot here. I'm gonna go to reflect. Oh, don't drop that XP, sir. So nice having more choices. All right, I'm gonna go for a research here. Let's us banish mods when we reroll, so I can get rid of some stuff we don't want, like mines and turrets. Ally and drone sounds good, but let's just grab ally right now. Ally is pretty darn strong. Especially early game when there's uh, less enemies. Magnitude solid upgrade for our first one. Tough enemy for wave 20. There we go. The next recursive wild mod you choose is gained three times. I'm going to take this. This is a way to get ahead. None of these are recursive. Okay, let's go payload. I mean, 30% weapon damage is not wrong. Velocity, weapon damage, shield cooldown, rate of fire. Let's go rate of fire. dead? Not quite. Ah, drones sound fine. If we don't see something we really, really want, though, we should consider purging with our rerolls. Research ship also has the benefit of pulling an XP from farther away, so you leave less hanging. No matter what your build is, you often leave XP hanging on the edge of the screen, just how it'd be. Shield maximum's not bad. I love poppy corn. Okay, let's get behind this guy. Ah, 
It's tricky when they swap turn direction like that. Yoinks, I did that to myself. Omni shield on this one, so I'm going to banish this. Okay, this is not a recursive mod. We can take the next recursive one we take is taken three times. You know, I'm actually going to take this Discord one and then we'll search for something else. Splinter is pretty nice. Um, let's banish Skirmish. Let's banish extra projectiles. Although I guess with Split Shot, that was probably a bad one to banish. That's okay. We're doing something different this run. Uh, let's banish that too. Okay, we're going to take this one. Spontaneous Generation, we got it three times. Oh man, these orbs of Discord really seek out the enemies. I didn't realize how good that was. Okay, I'm going to banish whole strength. Let's take adaptive armor here. Let's go burn damage here, if I live. Ooh, I'm almost dead. Come on, shielding. All right, shield's back. Corrosion, yes. Okay, I'm a big fan of these orbs of discord now. Big fan. me please no boost off of that okay okay we already got the thing for purification there bravado drone specialist slipstream uh, take warpath here oh no I don't want to be here. Yeah, we're just going to get the boss from out here. Forgot about that. Okay. Now we can go back in. Good. Holy swarms. Love it. Are right, I going to banish mines here? 
Uh, I'm going to ban his purge. Armor stacks attack enemies when they hit you. Channeling. Okay, armor stacks improve regeneration. This sounds quite good. I'm really not sure what's going on with our offense right now, but... Uh, seems to be working. Functioning anyways. Oh snap, I got bumped over, got it. I get it. First name basis, thanks for 64 months. Thank you. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna per banish this too. We're banishing all the things. I don't know what Burst Fire would do with this. I don't think what we want. Uh, let's banish this too. We're on a banish spree. I'll take Core Shielding. That sounds nice. What is this? Super Mod Dying Star. Ignite everything in a huge radius. This burning damage is increased proportionally to your proximity to targets missing hull and shields. Extra ignite duration and burn damage. Uh, do we have a way to outheal this right now? I don't think so. Purification will do. So that mod seems really good, but how does it pay off? What's the what do you get before taking that? Okay, works well with the core shielding we took. That makes sense. Get bops and my dude. We'll think about that one. I think charge shot's going nowhere. I'm going to banish that. Uh, velocity and weapon damage sounds all right. Shield effect radius, probably good. Let's go ahead and take a shielding here. Got a nice mix of things going on. Our damage isn't super high, but it's functional. Since that increases burn damage so much, that, that would be really good with the uh, other mods we have, I think. I'm going to try it. I mean, it might, it might kill us, but we'll find out. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think I have enough healing for this. Okay, the shield bubble still recharges? What? What? We're fine here. Yeah, since everything's ignited, it's okay. No, we're gonna die to this. Well, we learned. So we need even more passive regeneration to make that work. Uh, even the 40% health regeneration probably would have done it there. I could also see that working very well with the death blossom thing on the shield to make sure shields explode when they go down to zero. Need at least the base regeneration tree. Yep. Good, uh, good practice run. Good experimentation. All right, give me just one moment here. Just going to use the restroom and refill my water, and we'll head right into another run.
righty. Do it again. Having the seven choices at start is really nice. Oh, what do I want to do now? Grenade needs some help, but it gets really good. Let's do another salvo build. Warp, Reflect, Bastion, Amp. Do you think Amp could be okay? I like the high base on the orbital. Some portal's very nice too. Let's go orbital again. Okay, engineer, sentinel, assault, battery, scepter. We know the cloaking one's very good with salvo. Uh, I want to try battery though and see what happens. It does kind of appear like we're getting double projectiles off of that. Okay, early drones can't be bad. Uh, we'll improve targeting on these two. Since we're firing at angles, uh, certainly that will be helpful. It's a nice damage increase. Sounds good. Okay, so increased projectiles increases the charge rate of Salvo. I'd believe that. Two rerolls and a bunch of XP. Love to see it. Two rerolls or two now. Um. Okay, I'm going to take Guidance here, and let's pick up... Single smaller weapon. I wonder if this charges two. That's hard to say. Uh, I think I'm going to take Shield cooldown here. Now let's take Ally. Having Ally and Drones early, though we don't have like an Engineer build, it's still stuff that cleans up levels for us. Splinter's pretty all right, too. Blast Radius, fine. I'm going to do a reroll here. Um, another one. Rate of Fire. Faster missile charging. Yes. All right, I'm behind here again. Let me get all caught up. Spear, thank you so much for seven months. First name basis, thanks for 64. Our bank with 21. Darkmost, 27. And Lord's Prayer, thanks for keeping it dapper, dude. Much appreciation. Okay, uh, you know, three-round burst is really good for offense here. So is Warpath. I'm going to take this. So this makes our missiles fire out slower, which means we can just turn. So with the Guidance, we're still getting 20% increase. And now we can kind of do a screen-wide volley. Shield cooldown, I'm in. We gotta take some defensive stuff here. I feel like our offense is sorted for the moment, especially for wave clear. Rocket drones. Death blossom. Mm. Roll here. 
Okay, payload for 30% weapon damage. How can that be wrong? really should take more shields, but Splinter, man. Getting baited by all the great offensive options that are being offered. Now our missiles turn into missiles. Give me all that XP, please. Uh. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna take convergence, and then we're we're all defense after this, man. Like for real. The Splinter missiles having such great homing is why Convergence I took, even though it reduces rate of fire. Okay, we're going to take the passive hull regeneration now. All popcorn. Hello. Rate of fire and burst fire. Um. No, oh, I'm gonna take warpath here. Shield effect radius, shield effect power. Yes. playing this with a controller desert tail okay weapon recoils interesting okay here's the hyper metabolism that would have uh, enabled the other uh one we got last time efficiency is very good um we don't fire often with this weapon so having extra regeneration and shield recharge when we're not firing is a big deal I would say Salvo probably benefits the most from that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to die. There we go. Uh, Murder Hobo, you tap the thrust to do less thrust. So it'd be same control scheme. Charge shot is very good for Salvo, but I think that removes the regeneration effect we had. Let's go ahead and take double tap because the quicker we charge missiles, the better. We're empowered right now, so it seems extra good. Okay. Well, we already took several shield mods, so I don't think we're going to take rapid reconstruction here. Plus five levels is tempting. Okay, spontaneous generation. I love those little swarm fellers. Mega worth it here. Okay, that refunds your shields uh, if you do that. Thank you. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna go maximum shield increase. That's actually a huge tip to be able to take that and refund your shield boons. If you get a refund, then it's all good. I think I do prefer a mix of hull and shields, though, for the most part. Spicy boy. Since we have the convergence, uh, as long as we have a decent enough distance, both sides of the missiles hit. So good. Wow. That was like night and day compared to the last time we fought that dude. Okay, removes all shield mods from the upgrade pool and returns an upgrade point if you purchase shield gear. Okay, so only one upgrade point. Gotcha. Still not bad. Yeah, that big pink feller is tough, man. Uh, getting burn damage soon here would not be bad. Omni shield, probably not going to take. Does this remove whole stuff? No. Banish all mods currently offered to you. Um, I'm going to take the global damage here. Let's say this guy should be a lot of the same way as long as we have a uh, setup should be fine. I love spinning while firing the salvo. It's so good. No, 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 no. I don't want to be here. That's great. Singularity detected. But my loot. Now that is a cool noise, my man. Okay. Improved everything for weapons. Certainly not going to turn down the mastery mod. That's extra everything weapon related. Rate of fire, damage, um, projectile speed, etc. Oh no. Oh no. Fine. Fine-ish. I'm gonna go maximum hole increase here. Okay, we're fine now. Did almost die to that wave though. Passive shield regeneration, yes. Yes, please.
think the next big damage upgrade will be corrosion and we're kind of reaching a wave count here where our weapon is still very good it's not quite melting things the way I'd like though I should probably be happy with the damage we currently have huh A nice shield sounds cool. Okay, Gemini Protocol does increase our survivability a lot because we have regenerating hull and regenerating shields so the damage being split between both of those allows the damage to be repaired uh independently increasing our overall hull and shields Uh, Rerolls. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. Enjoy your poppy corn, black hole. It was a nice way to kill that boss because it's a difficult one. Almost level 30 here. There it is. Okay, I've not tried Maelstrom yet. It sounds pretty good, though. Uh, getting to Corrosion, I think, should be our top priority. Hey, awesome, Cleave the Land. Glad you've been enjoying it. Heard a lot of people say they picked up this game because of the stream. It's good feels, man. Whoa, whoa, he's still alive. Okay, I got you. I thought he died. I was wrong. You know, getting to evolution here would not be bad. Um... Banish all tier one mods currently offered you, which is apparently zero. All right, I'm going to go for evasion here. Let's improve our ally. Seems like a good route to go at this moment. Yes, we do have a lot of rerolls, you're right. I don't know exactly what we're looking for now, though. Stuff. What does added projectiles do on Salvo? Does anybody know? I can see it maybe acting like a rate of fire increase, but I'm not sure. Charges faster. Okay. That's actually pretty huge. Okay, plus 15% charge rate per added projectile. Well, in that case, something like volley would be very good, huh? Dude, these asteroids have been MVPs right now. I mean, this isn't bad since we have our damage split between hull and shields. isn't a bad banish either. No, snipe would be really good. Okay, let's see this. Plus two projectiles, so this should be 30% faster charge rate on projectiles. I 
Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, that charge rate is nutso now. Love it. What is that? Oh, he teleported. Okay. He bonked. Adjust our shot here a little bit. Bonk. Okay, that's our damage chance when he does that. It's not that we're not getting chip here, it's just when he's doing the orb one, we get a lot better damage potential. Oh no, I'm almost dead. Hey! I don't want to die. Well, scary. There's corrosion. Boom. It's uh, it's gonna be huge because we get corrosion stack added per projectile. Yeah, I'll bet with the split damage, you can still lose all of your hole that way. Not sure exactly how that works with Gemini Protocol. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 45% regeneration rate. That's the one we want with Gemini Protocol, because now we're regenerating way faster. This does reduce our total amount of shields and hull, but the regeneration rate is monumental. Okay, Gemini Protocol will not reduce shield or hull below one, so... Oh, that's really good. Interesting, look at all the XP all those dropped. I really feel like on some enemy types and bosses, leaving the boss alive is a very efficient way to get more XP. Like these right here, they're all going to drop XP. Yes, they're very dangerous. Last radius, okay. Uh, I got some rare mods here. Let's go ahead and take the Discord here. Or maybe I don't have very many rare wild mods. Looks like six. Okay. Bless you. Okay, here's Red Feller. Let's see, 
Daisy. Okay, he done, he done. Ooh, double red dude. Okay. It's gonna get nasty. Cheesy rice, man. Okay, barrier is very good. Uh, damage reduction. Maximum holes, also nice. I think if I'm gonna take Juggernaut, I wanna get thrusts first, though. The Singularity disappeared there because it was summoned by the boss who died immediately afterwards. Whoa, 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 whoa. Enjoy your poppycorn, son. Okay, here we go. Purification is extra burn damage, and uh, we're going to ignite every enemy on the screen. So this is really massive regeneration potential. Does not help so much versus bosses, though. When the shots are rainbow colored, uh, that means we have the boost um, buff is what drops off of those worm fellers and some other enemy types. This gives us increased rate of fire and damage uh, and thrust speed too. Man, that regeneration with the purification is going nuts. Super mod hidden power plus 50% global damage. Your weapon has no effect. Okay, so this one is like the crash damage uh, perk. We got 21 rerolls. Let's just see what we can pick up here. Conversion, if your maximum hull is greater than your maximum shields, convert 25% of your maximum shields to maximum hull. Okay, so this uh, converts back and forth. Is conversion good with Gemini Protocol? You know, honestly, taking another regeneration rate seems very good. I think this is OP defensively. Not gonna take another one of those, but man, that was nice. Yeah, that whole regeneration rate is legit. Oh no, 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 no. That's a good easy way to die right there. Those blue dragon things are very damaging. Yep, armor stacking sounds really good right now. I agree. I don't think our damage needs any more help.
almost level 39. Red feller. Gets us to double projectiles, which would be even faster charging. However, do a couple of rerolls and see what we get. No, oh, rate of fire, burst fire is not bad. Juggernaut is increasing our regeneration. Projectile size, damage increase is fine. I think one more hype metabolism would be a little bit too low on hull, but that would bring us to 135% regeneration rate. What's this? That's roll. Blast radius is actually uh, increased damage here. Double tap isn't bad. Has so many rerolls, I want to see what's up, though. Uh, this gets us to snipe. You know what? I'm going to take thrust here. I feel like maneuverability will be big, and Juggernaut would be one of the better defensive upgrades we can get. Oh, hey, what's up, Pixel Jam Games? Excellent work on the soundtrack for this game. I hear there's been a lot of music added since I last played. It's all gravy. All right, I'm going to pause here in a second and get all caught up with your wonderful support. There it is. Epop, thank you for 30 months. Appreciate that big 3-0. Dead Hilo, thanks for 39. And Server QC, thanks for 84 months. Seven years. Hey, Zemius Guitar, and thanks for that gift, too. Hot dog, you're all too damn kind. I love poppycorn. That was a bit of a whiff. Except for he died. Okay. Maybe not as big of a whiff as I thought. How close are we to leveling right now? Yikes, getting spicy in here. Halfway to 40. I'd love to get that five levels mod now. Well, spontaneous generation is not bad. Uh, velocity going for calibrate and snipe. Calibrate would be like one of the best upgrades overall. It's not a defensive upgrade. Rate of fire is always excellent. Plating. This unlocks force armor. What does force armor do? Yeah. Actually, you know, absorption's probably really good. Because we're taking whole damage and shield damage, so that should reduce or improve the ability for Gemini Protocol to reduce damage, I think. Is 
that's a lot of boy there, Pixel Jam Games. Got the one kid myself. That sounds like a lot. 12 days sounds like a good plan. Okay, we're fine. I lost control of the ship there. That was almost bad. Luckily, almost does not count. Yeah, in our next level up, we'll probably spam reroll for the, uh, the five level one. I think that's a great idea. Got something like 20 rerolls right now. It's gotta be good. We got Red Feller here. Let's right, just charge up a big one here. dead. GG. Hey, that was our second best score ever. Just got mispositioned uh, versus that guy. Ooh, body gear unlocked. New ship type. Nice. Not too shabby. That was fun. Oh, did we unlock something new? No, we already got Nemesis on there. You know, let's take the waves advance faster here. Uh, the extra experience bonus, I think, is actually going to be pretty beneficial. Yeah, I've definitely died that way many times, having the uh, the orbs bang us around. Once you lose control of the ship, uh, it's tough. Okay, uh, blade split shot, pulse... Black Salvo. I kind of want to do Salvo again. Oh, Dart. Play a barb projectile that lodges into targets, delivers caustic payload. Darts deal 50% of their damage as blast damage to nearby targets when they hit a target. Darts deal damage scaling with their size as burn damage over the duration. Okay, I'm trying this. Sounds cool. Definitely going to want some homing on this, but uh, looks cool, man. Yeah. Dart looks cool, man. It's pretty OP. It's tough, leaving some XP hanging there. It was Siphon Dew. Siphon deals 120 base damage divided between enemies within its radius, recovering 1.5% of this damage as shields. Okay. That shot that sounds cool. So we saw this weapon scales off of um, 
Oh, that's nice. Yeah, once they're stuck, there's no recovering for them there, is there? Okay, Siphon's pretty badass for a weird weapon like this. Battery, Architect, Firefly, Sentinel, Carrier. You know what? I'm going to take Carrier here. Uh, this does not mess up our fire here, but it does give us Swarm Constructs, which can heal our shield and other stuff. Dart appears to be very good versus bosses since it's uh, doing big damage over time, and anything that scales off of burn damage is going to really wreck here. Is going to need some help, though. Plus two projectiles. Uh, let's give this a shot. Yeah, that's going to help us hit a lot easier. We had an okay Leviathan build earlier. It was our first try at it. Certainly not bad. Yes, this is quality of life for sure on the volley. I concur. Rate of fire is good. Targeting is probably actually really excellent too. Projectile size is projectile damage here. Okay, blast radius is the damage we have. Let's go ahead and pick up drones and ally like we did last time. I feel like that really helped us out, just having a little bit of extra chip. Okay, I'm going to grab targeting. A little bit of targeting is not going to hurt. Look at that damage. Uh-oh. I was hanging a little bit longer than I want to on that one. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm gonna take a, another look at our weapon here in just a second. When we level up here, I want to look at my weapon. Let's just scale off of again. Okay, 50% of the damage is blast damage. Uh, darts, modified size, and ignite duration. Okay, they scale with size, so projectile size is it. So this increases the damage of our central projectile a lot. Let's give this a shot. We just unlocked the dart. Uh, last run, I think. Pretty, pretty spicy. I like it. I like anything that applies damage over time in most games. Ah, uh, yes. Spicy boy. It's going to be really good versus segmented enemies, too, because the uh, darts explode when they kill. Okay, Death Blossom, Projectile Velocity Damage. Uh, let's go plus 20% Burn Damage. Homing Strike's also really good with this, too. Uh, as we can see, we're all offense right now, and I may pay the price for this, but what if I don't? That's a big ol' worm, my man.
That's damage and weapon size. So that's like a 42% increase in weapon damage. That is a percentage I cannot turn down. And now we're going to really start looking at some defensive stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take one more offensive here. Just one. Bowie. Okay, let's go maximum shield increase. Oh man, Splinter though. Uh, I think our weapon does not get destroyed on impact. Let's go corrosion. Oh yeah. We are an offensive juggernaut right now. These are all gravy, but I'm gonna go ahead and take um, shield cooldown. If I don't start taking some defensive mods, we're gonna get wrecked really quick. Yeah, offense is defense until it isn't, which is going to be soon here. Say so right about after the first main boss, uh, this guy, the waves start ramping up in such a way that well, it's very difficult to recover. That's what we were looking for earlier. Let's do a reroll here. Oh, there it is. Okay, purification increases our burn damage, which is what we're doing right now. Um, and re is kind of defensive because it re helps us heal. Anything that's burning gives us passive regeneration. Okay, blast radius, certainly fine too. Um... Orb of Discord, we're just not there right now. Let's do a reroll here. Uh, Splinter. Okay, let's give this a shot. I'm not sure if Splinter is going to work on hits. It does. When they're destroyed, they suit out other Splinters. A lot of our decisions <laughs> this run have been based off the weapon being new and just wanting to see what stuff does to the weapon. Though I think I'm woefully behind where I should be on defense. Efficiency is not really going to work here. Plus two projectiles. Okay, I'm going to do this. I don't care about the spread. Oh, that Maybe that was bad. Velocity, weapon damage. I'm going to take the Grandeur here for the two levels. Okay, Super Mod Mastery, yes. Rate of Fire, yes. I love popcorn. OK, 
Okay, let's go regeneration right here in the hole. That can be life-saving. Bill's looking awesome right now. Okay, where's the other one? I want to get to the uh, the massive projectiles. Okay, Warpath would be really nice, too. Bless it. We're doing great on killing stuff. I want to reroll and get some um, actual stuff here. Adaptive armor is probably pretty nice. Let's go barrier right now. That maxes the damage that our shields can take in one hit. I agree, thrusters could be nice here. Hey, feller. Well, on a good no, we're going to have some uh, good dart damage here. Oh, snap, he got to me. Passive shield regeneration, absolutely. That went well. Our single target on boss is great. You'll love to see it. Yo, Boogaloo, thanks for 74 months, six years, and climbing. And Sacrosang, thanks for an awesome two years as well. Appreciate that big 24. Thank you. Velocity snipe might not be bad. I'm not sure how that works here, but could be good. Blast radius is something that this weapon does. Gonna take a reroll though. Okay, let's take war pass. This will increase the fire rate as we kill stuff. We're killing stuff fast enough and it's spawning fast enough that war pass is gonna get silly pretty fast. We boosted. Flammable liquid. Thanks for eight wonderful months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you. Okay, adaptive armor is probably great. in a really good position right here. <laughs> My man, get wrecked. All right, Red Feller is tough. That's what got us last time. Massive charge damage. Okay. Spicy main. Seven percent rate of fire plus burst fire. 
Okay, that's a lot more projectiles out. That is a lot more projectiles out. Wow, yes, burst fire is very good. I think I need to take a series of defensive perks after this because our damage is not a problem whatsoever. Big bada boom. Oh man, okay, hold on. Though, burst fire? Yeah. Not convinced that was the best, but it wasn't bad. Okay, uh, hole, maximum hole increase should be good. Definitely more damage. Oh no, GG. I just stood in the wrong spot. It wasn't even about the, uh, the perks there. I think I'm going to try that weapon again. That was pretty fun. Agreed there, Jay-Z Styles. The wild mod was a lot nicer than the uh, regular burst. This it also increases the rate of fire. All right, let's do another one here. I think we're going to try to get back to Dart. Uh, and since we have seven choices now on equipment, we should be able to get pick it. Even if you use a reroll, we can get back to it. Oh, yeah, battery ship would be pretty cool with that. I agree. Maybe we'll go for that. Give me the loop. Of course, it didn't give us an option here, so we'll reroll this, get back to Dart, our new weapon we just unlocked. This one is pretty uh, hard to aim until you get some sort of targeting. Not a complaint, though, just a mere observation. I'm gonna try siphoning again. That was pretty nice. It's also got a pretty high base shield, so it seems good. Damaging enemies to get close to you is nice. Enemies like to do that. Okay, there's Battery Viper. Okay, protected by Caustic Berry, which charges over time, provides 90% head-on whole crash damage resistance. Okay, so this is a um, whole damage one. Okay, yeah, this is, this is aimable right here. I can work with this. Rate of fire, extra projectiles. Let's go extra projectiles here. Okay, so it's one projectile each side. Perfectly fine by me. Yeah, we're shredding now. If 
Firing array does increase the central projectile. See if this is a central projectile on each one? It is. So this affects two projectiles, one on each side. Since damage scales with size on this weapon, that uh, seems appropriate. Get that first targeting upgrade. We're going to be in a very powerful place this early. There it is. Okay, drones certainly are bad. Extra burn damage is the damage we're doing right now, though. I'm just going to take this. Uh, another 20% damage on all the damage that's happening here is amazing. It's shredded, man. Scorching Wake's not bad either. Let's go Shield Effect Radius. No, let's go this one. The Revelation. Next recursive wild mod you take is gained three times instead of one. So we're basically trading two boons for three boons. But this early on, taking a triple recursive could be like we could get quad burst fire or something. Homing Strike was good, too. Magnitude is a 35% increase in damage, though. Okay. That's big. We get the weapon damage base and the size increase, which is how the Viper weapon or the Dart weapon scales. Seems appropriate. Uh... Same thing here, it's 42% increase. Oh man, doubles projectiles. Decreases side, size and spread, but let's take this since it's a higher tier one for now. Um, kind of doing the exact same thing I did in the last build where I'm going very heavy into offense. It just feels so good on this ship. Oh man, corrosion's it too. Oh. Now, who needs defense and everything's dying so fast? Good point. I do, though, is the answer to that. Like, really, once we get to a point like this where everything's just dying, I should really start taking defensive stuff until um, it starts feeling not as good. Let's go whole regeneration here. Hey, nice non-con. Glad you found a game you're enjoying because of the stream. That's awesome to hear. Okay, I'm going to try Rapid Reconstruction here. Purification. Okay, I guess it's Regeneration when stuff's burning. Um, this is the opposite of Omni Shield and not one I've really used. So we'll see what happens. Got big hole regeneration, but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, safety. Yeah. 
Okay, adren adrenal module makes a lot of sense now. Because we only have hull. Let's do a reroll here. Okay, let's go payload. That's a good increase. I keep saying I'm going to take defensive stuff, then I don't. Whoops. No, that one's not recursive. Um, you know, she can only take the five level one once. That'd be insane if it gave 15, though. Should probably take the five level one next time I see it. That could be a huge increase in our capabilities. stacks are very good. What's this? Plus five levels. Lose all rerolls. I'm going to take this now. Five levels is not a small amount. Maximum holes. Very good here. Juggernaut. I'm going to take that, I think. Ooh, interesting. 5% global damage per unspent upgrade point. I'm not going to take that, but it's pretty cool. We're always firing, so that's not as good. Uh, rate of fire, burst fire. I'm going to take that once. Rate of fire. Blast radius. I wanted juggernaut. Let's go for thrust here, too. Oh, that recursive mod went off uh, three times. That's right. I forgot I still had that active. Oh, the reduced rate of fire is not good, but versus um, most things, this will be better, especially if I get Guidance. That'll bring us to a five-round burst. Force armor, yes. Full resistance is going to be king here. Yeah, I need that next level in Guidance, I think. Streamline. Okay. Deadly Wake. Not bad. Charge Shot. Could be alright. Ooh, another one. Can't re-roll. Let's go ahead and take another Burst Fire here. I just got a feeling. Ow. Yeah, I need to pick up uh, the, the regeneration um, boons here. We're hurting for defense. Are we recovering very slow from damage? Splinter, Warpath, Velocity. Let's go Adaptive Armor. That's the one. in there a little longer than I should have. He's done. I think the non-burst fire route may be better on this weapon. Blast radius increase, stabilization, rebuke. 
ally drones. We don't have drones or allies right now. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's try rebuke. I haven't done that yet. We're certainly taking damage. alive for now one hundred percent adaptive armor saved our bacon stack duration base hole base shield so we don't get a shield for that i'm gonna take guidance now i think the extra uh homing on this could be huge since we are uh holding so many projectiles right now i love puppy code Channeling. Okay, armor improves regeneration. Uh, yes. Let's give that a shot. Like, armor is a big deal on this build. Projectile size. Weapon recoil. I wonder how this makes us recoil. Let's find out. You know, not bad at all, and that 10% increase in size is just flat weapon damage for us. It's really cool. Yo, hello, uh, thanks for almost 70 months of continuous support, dude. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Glad you could be here to enjoy this fine Fragmas day. What a wave. I think sniping calibrate could be very good. I'm gonna take core shielding though. I feel like defense is more of a problem. Plus two projectiles. Uh, yes, I'm gonna try convergence here. I wanna see what it looks like. Pretty good. Oh yeah, they're staying on the screen way longer. Oh, this makes it so much nicer. We should be going all 
defense at this point. Unless, you know, mastery shows up. I'm sure I want more, better everything. Yeah, the weapon knockback on this particular weapon is not bad at all. Oh yeah, we can kind of get both hitting uh, with this now. Spicy boy. Two levels right here. I think I might just take that. It's extra size, which is tough, but not bad. Could use two levels right now, sure. Dying Star. Okay, this is the one that we take self damage, so we need like a uh, the metamorphosis to take that. Rate of fire and thrust for that. Hmm. These still, the homing strikes still add additional damage. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Warpath here. Blast radius is damage up. It's not bad either. Take blast radius. Hairy situation. We good though. Okay, level thirty five. Here we come. You know, this isn't bad. Okay, this unlocks Gemini Protocol, which we don't really... doesn't matter. I don't think we want efficiency on this build. Constant Thrust, don't want. Could get additional three bursts here. It is delay and firing, though. I'm going to try the Heavy Caliber. So 10% damage increase does give us more knockback on the shot, but that's not mattering as much, it feels like. Back's a little intense now, but that's okay. I can deal with it. I don't think I'll be taking another heavy caliber, but the two here is mighty fine. Yeah, humming darts do have a very satisfying look and feel to them. I agree. What does Blink do? I don't think I want Charge Shot here, though it would be good. Let's take Drones. No reason not to.
that's a lot of darts in that, dude. Ow. Bravado, friction, damage resistance, plating. Let's take plating there. So flat, hole, damage reduction, and we all we have is hole. Yeah, buddy. Get burned. Wave 100. Oh, snap. I don't want to be there. You know, homing strike doesn't hurt anything. Just gives some extra homing projectiles on the side. My man, you're burning up. Well, that was our best wave 100 yet. some water. All right, let me get caught up here. Sorry for anybody that I missed here in the Madness Belial. Thanks for 25 months, J-Dubs. Thanks for 61. Your repi, thanks for four months. Silver Argon, thanks for making it official with Prime Man. Zaints, thanks for 18 months. And Sentient Waffle, thanks for an awesome 14. Thank you. Galvanic Outburst. I'll oh, have a shield. Okay, I'm going to take double tap here. It's even more projectiles out. It does reduce our um, rate of fire a bit, but that is less important with this build. Once we get the projectiles out, they do the work. We don't even have Convergence yet, which increased the homing capability even more. Super mod, hidden power, reinforced drones, elegant construction, stabilization, Impulsive munition. Uh, that is a really large damage increase. Ow. Okay, there's a healing perk at the end of the skirmish line. Thank you. I haven't taken that yet. Mostly because skirmish isn't very good for most builds. Okay. So now when we fire, we're actually propelling forward, which is much nicer than propelling backwards. This is great. Welcome to Poppy Corn City. Last radius, okay. Charge shot would probably be pretty good. 
splinter. Um, we already have the end of this tier. Okay, I'm going to try splinter. Yes, it does reduce our fire rate more, but every single one that it hits is going to explode into other projectiles. So we basically have permanent projectiles on the screen. I don't think it's going to be bad. Reduce fire rate's not good, but everything else is. Yep. Wow. I don't think that burst fire is going to be bad. Oh, yeah. We are the pepperage. Okay, the, uh, the recoil on this is significant, but that's okay. Wicked good. Yeah, really using the, the firing as a dodging mechanic more than anything else now. Uh-oh. There's two of them. Okay. Hmm. I mean, snipe would not be bad. Neither would calibrate. I think Rupture would be very nice, though. Yes, I much prefer this recoil being a uh, forward thrust. Really helpful. Ow. Okay, antimatter rounds. Antimatter rounds affect weapons that are fired by you. Plus damage. You take heavy self hole damage when you fire. Oh, hell no. That would kill us right now. Uh, global damage increases your speed does. Actually, that'd probably work, wouldn't it? Okay, I want the 45% regeneration rate. That's the one. Been waiting for that.
Almost to level 45 here. Well. Plus one projectile. Oh, hey, this is great because... Well, the minus recovery is not cool, but there's no slower shield cooldown here because... Risk getting uh, more projectiles. Double boss, okay. Recovery's also health generation indeed. So we probably wouldn't take a bunch of those, but since we got the 45%, we can afford to drop the, the five. Spicy boy. Ooh, that could actually still be really strong. No, we don't have shields, and it doesn't work. I am going to take hypermetabolism again. That's 90%, well, 85% regeneration now. Yeah, our hole's a little bit sketchy now, but it's okay. We can recover from hits pretty fast. We seem to not lose all our hull at once, which is usually what happens when you die anyways. <laughs> I love poppy corn. So it's close, man. If those converged on me, that could have easily been the kill. Wow, can we take Dying Star here? I'm taking two regenerations. I'm not convinced it's enough. Now, Rupture is also really good. Could take a grand germ. Yeah, I'm taking rupture here. I don't want to take grand germ. I don't want to lose any more rotation speed. Is uh, the truth of it. Okay, we can check our regeneration in the menu. Let's actually look at this real quick. Regeneration, we're at 11.9 a second, so, or 11.19. So that basically makes it so we don't have whole regeneration. So we have to take one or two more of the regenerations. It's not yet, anyways.
Blast radius is pretty good. All right, out of these, I'm gonna do this. Getting snipe or calibrate here, in fact, would be very powerful. So I really feel like we're gonna not level up too much more here at level 48. Ooh, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Hey, yep. Boss feller. Oh, no, 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 no. Fine. We did not get knocked into multiple things here. Good. Good hit. Double of these fellers? That's rude. What happened? Oh no. We're fine. Let's go chill for a second. Oh, scary, dude. Okay. Calibrates. So we're not firing our weapon. It increases the rate, but we died immediately after taking the upgrade. That our top score has got to be close. Yes, that was our top score by 8,000. That was a fun one. Well... I learned in the right situation that whole regeneration build is quite good, though I think I would have preferred Gemini Protocol on that one. All right, give me just a sec. Just going to stand up, stretch real fast, and then we'll hop into another run of Nova Drift. So good.
All right, we have returned. Thank you so much for your patience during that brief intermission. If you watch my stream regularly, you know, uh, taking regular breaks is part of the show. It's very important. I do very much encourage you all to stand up and stretch as well. As we head into this run, let me just take a moment to thank you all for being here on this day. 27 out of 31 of our six annual fragments. This is our 8th December, 1st through 31st together here on the site. In the first two years of the two-year live stream challenge and... Uh, Followed by our six fragments. If you're new to our channel or our yearly format, we do uh, two 31 day streaming events each year one in the winter and one in the month of, or one in the summer and one in the month of December, uh, followed by a short vacation where we get right back into it for the half year. It's been truly an honor to curate this experience for going on nine years full time now. No place I'd rather be, nothing I'd rather be doing. Incredible to me that we're still able to have a uh, no frills environment uh, on this site. How much uh, streaming has changed over my career has been a lot, but we still just have a good time playing games and enjoying the company of each other, which is a beautiful feeling. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna take Dart again. We just unlocked this and I'm really liking it. Uh, this time I'm not gonna go for the battery ship. We're gonna go for uh, something that has a little bit better straight focus fire. Maybe even an engineer build with this, I don't know. Aiming's hard. Luckily there's lots of things in this game that help you aim. Dude, what is up with this XP? Where's it at? I think the siphon was really good uh, last time. I'm going to do this just, just for right now to help me damage enemies with this weapon. I'm not very good at aiming. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, architect, carrier. Well... You know, Carrier could actually work out pretty good, because we get more Constructs this way. Oh wait, that's not that ship, is it? Engineer? Let's try Engineer again. I've yet to get a really good Engineer build going, and I know this ship can get really powerful. Carrier's great, too. We've done a couple Carriers today. The Swarm Constructs are huge. Okay, let's take the ally now. Ally is going to help out big time in these early waves. Yes, the triple shot would have been really good too, but the ally is just really solid early on. Oh yeah, we can get allies that eventually fire our own weapons, can't we? Okay, we'll take a little bit of targeting here. That's not going to hurt. Well, it's going to help me a lot, because I'm not the best aimer. I will say, I feel like today I had some stuff click as far as dodging goes, though. We've had some pretty consistent deep runs. And uh, dodging's a big part of that. That first level of targeting is pretty much always worth it. I'll agree with that. Okay, I don't want a specialist here. I'm going to take the volley because three projectiles is going to be better than one. And now we can not worry about taking as much offensive stuff. We can go more into drones and things. Am I dead? Almost. Feel the burn. Big bada boom. Well, elegant construction's very good.
be better once we have drones, but we can wait for that. Oh. Burst fire is nice. This is a 35% increase to weapon damage. It's a lot of percentile. Darts uh, damage up goes based off of weapon size. So flat damage plus weapon size is a du double dip into weapon damage. Huh. Guess the shield damage is a little different. Makes sense. Fine. I want to take drones here, but it's not giving them to me. Uh, Shalo, this is the dart weapon. It's unlocked at level 50. We just unlocked it today, so it's one of the last weapon types you unlock, if not the last one. Okay, I almost died. Whoops. There's drones. Just gonna snap them up. We're the engineer ship, so getting those out, this is massively helpful. Hey, great run, Anubis. My best run so far is about 640k. We just had that. 900k seems immense. I'm going to go evasion here. Burn damage is 20% increased what we have right now. Uh, we saw Splinter was very good too, but... Uh... Mm, let's take uh, this. Since we're doing burn damage, something is a flat increase to burn damage seems pretty superior. Also, at the end of this tree is a perk that regenerates our hull and shield for each burning enemy, which is every one we hit with the weapon. Okay, we're going to go priority zero. We are the engineer ship, so we got some good incentive to go drones. I've probably actually taken a few too many weapon upgrades here for a true NG ship, but what we have is good. Ow. Here's the boss. Ow. Plus one ally projectile? Oh, corrosion right now. Oh, here I go again, taking a bunch of weapon upgrades when I should go drones. Will he ever learn? The answer is no. I died. All right, we're not going out on that run. We're doing another one. Give me the loot. I'm going to do it one more time.
We did a Leviathan run today, but did not survive to get the no shield mod, no. Uh, reforming this is Dart, which is unlocked at level 50. We just unlocked it today. Pretty good. You take self-shield damage while Halo burns targets. Yeah, that's tough. Let's go reflect here. Got a nice high base. There we go. All right, Sentinel, Hole Breaker, Architect, Firefly. Leviathan, Viper, Carrier. You know what? Let's go ahead and take Carrier on this one. Carrier's pretty cool. These little swarm constructs help out a lot. Armin, 471. Thanks for eight awesome months. Appreciate you. Oh, don't steal my XP, Singularity. Sirs. The next recursive wild mod you choose is gained three times. That could be pretty powerful. I'm going to do a roll here, though. Uh, let's go for projectile targeting. My XP! enough. And triple shot would be really nice right now. Let's do that. It's a good damage increase. Ha! Get repulsed. There it is. It's a pretty necessary early upgrade. Look at that damage, though. Whoa. Firing ray's not bad. Generation payload. Payload's a too big of a damage increase to turn down. 42%. Let's take drones. Gonna take ally too.
Oh, I flew right into that. Whoops. Homing Strike is pretty dope. Elegant construction, very nice for our drones, though. And that we have no defensive mods so far, so be it. It's really like homing strike for cleaning up a lot of the smaller objectives, the mines and things, or asteroids and other other stuff. bad. Yes. Some big XP chunks right there, man. Not a bad summoning build at all. I think our build's gonna do very well on this. Gonna be damaging these out pretty evenly, but that's okay. Or the asteroid's just gonna crush it. That's cool too. Okay, efficiency does Gemini protocol. Noted. Okay, this is even more swarmers I'm in. It's a good rare wild mod. There's an additional chance to spawn swarmers on kill. So we have two times that chance. Yeah, we might try Omni Shields here. I think that could be a good call. This time we're gonna get out of the center. Yes. Plus burn damage is it. Okay, I'll take that. One burst fire, I'll be good. Still a lot more projectiles out overall. Let's 
Singularity detected. Well, it'll kill this boss guy, I guess. Maybe. Oh, no, I got pulled in. We're alive. I think I would have died there if I didn't dodge. Pretty sure. And there's corrosion. Adaptive armor is not bad either. Ooh, another spontaneous generation. Interesting. I'm going to take this to get to the regenerative burn. Plating's probably really good here. Oh, there it is. That's going to heal when we have burn damage going, so it's going to be superior. For now. Good. Set me some water here. All right, it's going to be our last run here, win, lose, or draw. That last one was okay. We got a little bit split up there. Let's go for something else this time. I'm gonna do one more salvo. Salvo's been good build for us. Thermal Lance next time we play. We did one of those uh, last time. It was good. I'm gonna go Temporal. I like Temporal Shield. Okay, let's go Engineer here again. We're going to try to make the Engineer build work. I don't think Salvo needs all that much help to be pretty good offensively. It does like a little bit of help, but... It generates XP very efficiently in the early game and add some drones to this. We got a build. Yeah, pretty huge variety indeed, Peter. I'm not sure if we have any more weapons to unlock, but we got one at level 50, which was the... Dart. <laughs> I 
No extra XP for us on that, huh? There we go. I'm gonna take ally early. We are the engineer ship, so... That's that little bit of extra damage we need. Okay. Let's do a reroll on that. Yes. Uh, Splinter is good on this. Let's go ahead and take Splinter early. Charge Shot is certainly good, too. I think one kind of hidden advantage of Salvo is you're destroying almost every hazard on the screen, which sometimes have XP in them. Very nice. Wind strike's pretty good. That's uh increase though. I'm gonna go shield increase here. I'm going very heavy into offense early, and that burns me sometimes. Construction's very good. Okay, unlocks evolution, which is definitely good. I think I'm just gonna go into this tier. Let's go for the re passive regeneration here. Okay, let's go for targeting, because certainly a little bit of targeting is not going to hurt. It helps the splinter shots a lot, since they s spray off rather randomly. Homing strike ain't bad. Okay, there's evolution. Let's go ahead and get that ally projectile. That sounds great. Is there no max on how many missiles you can store? Is that what I'm understanding? Interceptor fires your weapon in addition to its own at a slower rate of fire. Plus one interceptor projectile. I think we take that. Okay, rate of fire increase, I want that. Priority zero is good too. Okay, we're going to take this rare wild mod, Spontaneous Generation. That gives us swarmers when we kill stuff, too. Swarmers are pretty cool. That's what the carrier ship generates, and I like it.
Okay, no max, but it slows down late. Cool, cool. Plus two projectiles does give us... faster charge rate. I believe it's 15% charge rate per projectile. Passive whole generation, not going to be bad. Efficiency is also very good with salvo. Let's take efficiency right now. It doesn't seem that clearing is really being a problem. Since we're not firing until we let go of the volley, uh, it's a really nice increase in our overall passive. Bada boom. Well, let's take a look here. Modifiers for the account provide plus 15% stockpile rate for each additional projectile. Doesn't say what kind of damage these do, so velocity and stuff's not as important on these. Guess that makes guidance all right. I'm gonna do a roll here. Let's see what we get. It's fine. Conversion's good too with Gemini Protocol. I'm gonna take shield cooldown here. Let's keep it balanced. Clearly, damage is not a huge problem for us right now. Yes, we will take turrets on this build too, eventually. Okay, three round burst is good for Salvo because it's just an increase in uh, charge rate. Okay, we're going to take Elegant Construction. That's really good for our constructs. 20% faster movement on the Interceptors is not, uh, not to be overlooked. Oh. Interesting. I'm going to take Gemini Protocol here. We can work around this. So Gemini Protocol kind of makes our shields and hulls share damage. So when we get more regeneration, that can be a powerful defensive tool. I want to take a couple of weapon mods next. Anything for a rate of fire here would be awesome. Dude, MRI guy, if I missed you earlier, thank you for 71 months, dude. Dr. Ralicroy, thanks for 27. And BK Garner, thanks for dropping that 34, man. Thank you. Okay, charge shot is very good with this, but let's take guidance. This will make our splinters do even better. There's no damage down on that. It's good. Okay, there's a regeneration rate. We're going to take that. So with Gemini Protocol, that helps out a lot because we're splitting our damage between the two and then we regenerate the hole a lot faster. It does reduce our overall hull and shielding, which is dangerous, but I think one of those is good.
Got him. Okay, plus one projectile is 15% fire rate right now. I'm going to take it because it's the rare wild mod. We can see the other one more readily. Where that 15% we probably won't see again, at least not for a while. That is 30% faster charging. This also probably gives that pretty readily too. Plus five levels right now, doesn't look bad either. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, now we're charging missiles at a rate I like. I don't even think I wanna take charge shot here. I wanna take efficiency. Have too many wild mods for that. I probably should take turret at some point here too. Yeah, let's go ahead and slap turrets into the build. You've already taken efficiency, I believe it. I believe it. Oh. Maximum hole won't be bad. Oh, plus two projectiles too? doesn't matter. This is really good. This is still a plus 15% rate of charge, even with the minus rate there, because more projectiles makes more charge rate with this particular weapon. Not sure on the interaction with siege weaponry and missiles. Probably decent. Yikes. Yikes. Get me out of here. Siege does not work well with Salvo. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, yes. Regeneration's actually huge here. With Gemini Protocol going on, the sharing damage between shield and hull, that's uh, effectively a lot more health. Passive shield regeneration. Okay, I'm going for it, man. Got hole and shield regen now. Big corn technology. Oh, thank you, Fatal Hobo. I missed that on that, uh, Boone. Thank you for pointing out that effect. Appreciate it. 
Global damage is quite good. That's our drones and stuff, too. I'm fine with losing a little friction here. Actually makes dodging easier in some ways. this works with Gemini protocol. Okay, barrier is really good. Um, let's take Warpath, though. Warpath at this rate, with how many enemies are spawning, is going to get massive really fast, so up to 30% more fire rate. Which means just more missiles generated, more damage out. Oh yeah, I got turrets. I mean, 30% weapon damage right now seems awesome, but I think I'm gonna fish for uh, some defensive stuff. I feel like our damage is doing all right right now. Barrier, awesome. Barrier gives a max damage that can happen to shields, which is good uh, when you get hit for a large amount, like big old projectile or ramming damage. chunk right there man it's this mastery i mean all those stat ups are gonna be pretty hard to pass oh this is really solid too i'm gonna take shield effect radius that's very nice with temporal and gets us down a um, upgrade tree that we want defense okay recover near turrets that seems okay i think i prefer war machine though if i'm gonna take one let's roll here 18 rerolls shield effect radius is not a bad thing it's okay too volatile shields is plus max that's good How does conversion work with um, Gemini Protocol? Uh, the carrier constructs came from the wild mutation. This one right here, spontaneous generation, old man Lear. We had a chance for those each time we get a kill. See how Maelstrom works. We have slowdown, so if we have slowdown and push away, that seems pretty OP.
Yo, Pike is good for you. Thanks for almost 70 months of continuous support, my man. Thanks for lurking. Appreciate that. Oh, hey, boss. Ow. Okay, after he goes ramming speed here, I'm gonna refire my salvo. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghetti. We're fine. Almost a spaghetti moment. Yeah, that having a full regeneration while the shields are active was a bad pickup. Still a good build, but I took one uh, detrimental boon. Happened? Uh-oh. Whew, got him. Okay, payload's gonna be good. This is less recovery too. I don't think I can afford less recovery right now. Let's roll here. Um, getting to regeneration off of burning damage would be very nice. It's hard to imagine that payload's wrong. Yo, you as well, Tharsane. Thanks for hanging out. Take it easy. machine let's take it oh that's also very good I already have one of these but the extra regeneration would really help with the Gemini protocol situation now let's take war machine here oh wow those are pretty good oh they also shoot missiles love these guys Okay, I'm gonna take point defense because these turrets are hard to keep alive, but they're blapping and now that we're level 36 That's like uh, almost double their health Actually over double
Oh yeah. Here, homing shot could be all right. I mean, doubling our projectiles right now would be a in huge increase. And in I got 18 rerolls. I'm gonna keep fishing here. Counter artillery turret bolts collide with any projectiles. Degenerating their damage and size or destroying them outright. Sounds cool, man. Burst fire here. I don't know what that does. Now we're charging up missiles at a good rate. Plating's not bad. I'm going to take defiance here. Well. <laughs> Got 18 rerolls. Let's just fish for a minute. Snipe would end up being really powerful. Mastery's not going anywhere. Okay, let's get corrosion going, and then we can get the uh, regeneration on burning, which is going to be every enemy we hit. Yo, censored pixel. Thanks for 48 months. Appreciate that four years. Diff serve dropping that 10. EM Chef, welcome to Dapper. Thanks for that prime support and paid him. Thanks for 22 months. Thank you. Should already be able to get convergence. Charge shot is good. I think I want Omni Shield here. Actually, Omni Shield would still be good with the Gemini protocol. We already have convergence. Thank you. That's right. There it is. Okay, now we have burn damage and regeneration off of burn damage. Her enemy burned. Wow. Mr. Mr. What? Thanks for 26 months. Appreciate you.
adaptive armor has got to be good. Got to be great, in fact. Gaining armor stacks per hit. We're going to get hit. That is, a, that is a guarantee at this point in the game. Holy wave, Batman. Oh snap, two of these guys? Ow. There's one down. I regenerated pretty well there. Scary wave right here. Ooh. Okay, we're almost dead. <laughs> Not dead. Gotta move. GG. Nice run. Our fifth best run ever. Yeah, I need to zoop out the side there as soon as I saw that wave enter, but we did not. Mr. Mr. Watt, thanks for 26 months and risky. Thanks for an awesome nine months. Appreciate that a lot. Well, everybody, that's going to conclude show number 2,461 here on Twitch. Thanks for making it a great one. Had an awesome time playing Spelunky 2 uh, and Nova Drift today. Got a bunch of unlocks done. Had some really good runs, including our best one yet. I'll be back at it tomorrow for day number 28 out of 31 of our sixth annual Fragmas winner. Uh, thanks again for making a great one, sharing this time and place. As a reminder, going to run three minutes worth of ads here on our way out. The only ads I play for the entire broadcast. Thanks so much for uh, for being here and making it special. He allows to play. Thank you. If not, thanks so much for the time you chose to spend here today. Going to throw on some FTL tunage and we'll uh, sign on out. Have a great one. Chrono Twilight, Fatal, Hobo, Keebler, Karate and Friendship, Fade. Take it easy, Old Man Lear, Welch, Merge, Sethusk, Barbecue, Griffin, Root Flyer. Have a nice one, Jay-Z, Zos Prime, Tech Fiend, Shmooney. Take it easy, Veil, Chippa, and all the rest. See you all tomorrow.